Hi, YouTube. Something different? You bothered? All right, anyway. Hey, we got a uh, face cam up now, so that's a thing. It's going to be that way probably for the rest of the playthrough, so enjoy or don't. I mean, whatever. Anyway, we've got a lot that we need to continue with. Uh, let me check just real quick and make sure that we have actually put ourselves in the right directory. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's time to do the, the thing that we always do. Listen, I don't remember where we left off. Uh, I was so out of it on Thursday. Thursdays are hard, man. We had had a blue screen right in the middle of doing something. I don't remember what we were doing. I'm naked, which means we were probably working on cannons. Probably we were working on cannons, so I can't guarantee it. I do know that our cannons are working well both ways. Oh god, where's my body? Where's my body? <laughs> uh, where... Oh, did I fall off the cliff? Oh god, did I just fall off the cliff at some point? Yeah, there was a death. It's off cliff. Okay, I think I ran off the cliff. There we go. Do I cut out portions of streams that go on YouTube? No, uh, everything on YouTube is trimmed. So you only get the gameplay once we start the game. Yeah. So you don't get like the breaks, you don't get the startup or anything else. Hey, Crash. I think my body is down here somewhere. That's what sounds right. Uh, okay, so we're going to try and figure that out. I do know that we could go down here. Ooh, I, we're fine. My headset is delayed. <laughs> Shit. I think I fell right down here-ish. This is the lowest level, so I can't jump from here and survive. But if I go off the other corner, I should be okay. Oh, we'll see. I have no idea. Fern says correct. So, okay, that's where we died. I felt like I died right under the iron tower and it just defeated my spirit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's take care of that. Let's go get our stuff back. We were setting up two fluid buffers. That's right. Okay, because we <laughs> we had made a uh, little, little storage closet to be able to put a couple fluid buffers in be able to keep our fuel if it backs up which it is for now just to have that little bit of a buffer there not that we need it but that it would be cute to have <clears throat> it's down I don't think it's exactly under I think it's uh over here somewhere I want to check this because it's gonna be easier to get down than go back up again of course I feel like I had landed by these coral things but maybe there's more down at the bottom I don't think it's up here Oh, something in the background is uh, wooing at us. Oh, where the fuck did I die? It's all my main gear, I'm pretty sure. I feel like I would have tried to land up on that ledge if I fell. I, f I feel like I need to look at the... L oh! I found a me box. <laughs> no, it wasn't halfway down. That was a different death. There we go. Got it. I, I found me body. Okay. Yeah, get that in there. Perfect. Okay, so now we're, we're back up. It's as if it never happened, chat. It's as if it never happened. Yeah, a body has been discovered. I took the Monokuma sound off. I didn't want Chun Spike softly to come after me. There we go. Let's do... No, not over. Fuck. They fucking launched me as I got over that ledge. Let me in. We also never got to use it, but we might bring it back could be good. Yeah, Fern, you'll just have to make your own uh, Monokuma laugh for us. That'd be great. How the fuck do I get up my own tower? Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's my first death. That was our first well, our first death off the cliff. <sighs> Things were so simple back then. We were so concerned with trying to make sure that we had enough stuff. Our first chainsaw. We handmade those screws and it was a lot. That 40 screws, man, that was a lot at the time. Now we're eating them by the thousands. All right. 
let's get up here. I really, God, the biggest thing I regret is not giving myself a central access hatch. I don't know why I didn't. I was just like, yeah, no, it'll, it'll just easily line up between each of the layers. God, the fuck was I thinking? I knew that was wrong then too. I just didn't want to acknowledge it. I wasn't deep enough into the planning phase to be like, yeah, no, we definitely need to do that. I figured I would figure something else out along the way, and here we are. <laughs> I didn't. Fuck. Okay. Um, fuck, what was I doing? <laughs> Shit. Let's get the ten computers. Let's get our two last generators down there that we need. Um, let's get our 30 motors. We can do that. 10 split. Yeah, give me the 40 over here. I don't want to keep that much stuff on me. And then our motor should be down here. We put in a bunch of stators. We're also out of rotors in this box, which is interesting. Oh, we have plenty. Yeah, we're good. Let's, um, let's go ahead and take 30, though. Just take the amount that we need and not worry too much. We have a lot of motors now. I'm not worried about that. Trains are going to take motors as well, but whatever. It's going to be fine. The big thing I want to be able to go over and get is reinforced frames. Those heavy modular frames. So let's grab some screws. Let's grab our frames and let's head back over to the steel area and see what and see what can be crafted. There we go. And just run down these little holes. It's on the bottom level down here, so... Here we go, right there. Not quite full. Uh, we can take all of them, though. That's actually really nice. As far as screws are concerned, uh, we'll have to go back up to grab them. We'll have to go back up to get into the hypertube anyway, so might as well just do this. There we go. Hello? Oh, fuck. Well, that didn't help us at all. Barely made that. I, I really do think that I just... God. I What needs to happen is now that we have some power surplus... I just need to make a hypertube that goes from level to level. And then the only stairs that I need, or only ladders I need, are going to be between the between the uh, production and its own logistics layer right below it. That's the only time we ever need to make stuff like that, because this is just a pain in the ass, man. Also, don't quite need this. It's so bright, man. It blooms off of every surface. It just ends up being so bright. Okay. Screws. Go through here, get some screws, uh, send ourselves over to the steel tower, which we should... Yeah, we have screws backed up on this belt, which is... No, we don't. Never mind. Oh, there's no screws here. The screws are on the bottom level, chat. They're on the bottom level. For fuck's sake. Do we grab them or do we just take these over there and grab what's already over there? I want the reinforced frame because... It's going to let us get to the train tech, which we haven't been able to touch yet at all, and I have no idea really how it works, so I'd love to explore it. But anything that's going to allow our individual towers, because I've got a couple of these now, anything that allows our individual towers or production areas to send resources back and forth to each other automatically without just having a single belt that runs across, you know, cross-country, I think having the trains would be very nice. But getting access to them would be one of the biggest things we can do. I've wanted trains ever since I realized that they were in the game. I, I don't know what episode it was, but man, I remember asking, it's like, hey, are there trains in the game? And someone's like, yes. And I got very excited. <laughs> very excited. We might even not have enough space over here. Oh, we do. Ha, huh, look at that. Uh, I feel like I should take some of these, just a stack of 50. There are a couple things that we might want to build that might require them. We've only got 20. It is what it is, though. Um, without screws, we can't make more happen over here. So that's something we need to know. God, we just need to be able to... God, I just need screws over here, man. I wonder if we have a... Oh, shit, you know what we could do? All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Iron. Coal. These come together to make a wonderful baby named Steel. Okay. Here's steel. Steel baby. No, Don, not now. I'm busy. Don, no! Are you winning, son? Yeah. All right. We have a steel baby down here. This goes off to steel production. 
great. We love it. But what if we did a smart splitter here that says if the steel production is stalled or backed up, we don't need steel anymore. Whoop. Iron baby. Iron baby then goes into iron production for screws that then goes into the steel production as needed. I think that's the solution uh, to having some local steel production or uh, screw production. It's a pain in the ass, but that would work. All right. Stop making the weird ass fucking noises. I am excited because we found a solution. It's like it solves a puzzle. It's nice. Yeah, see all this iron ore. We just do a uh, we just do a backup that if it can't flow, it goes out to iron. Iron then goes into screws, which goes all the way down there. We could set that up right here. Fuck it, we're doing it. You can't stop me. Okay, so what we're gonna do is have a. Oh, maybe you can't stop me. I don't think I can make a smart splitter. Fuck. I could probably make one. I could. Pro I could probably make one. Let's do it this way. Uh, see if I can make just one. Please. We only need the one. It's only one. That's all we need. Get out of here. Okay, and then four smart splitter. Perfect. That's a regular splitter, smart splitter. That belt will get down here. This will then belt between you guys, and I don't care if it's... I don't have any steel beams on me? The fuck? Oh, this is where they're made. Let's go get some. How do I not have steel beams on me? That's shocking. Can't stop, won't stop. That's right. All right, let's do conveyor belts too steep. Shut the fuck up, Ada. There we go. We'll do this. Like this, so it can turn around a little bit more easily. There we go. And then you're going to go off to steel as a priority. Okay, so it will try to go out to the right. Any. To the left is going to be overflow. If it cannot go to steel, it will go to iron. But it's going to be backed up just by the natural split. And this is this is one to one. But this is overproducing ore, which means that we should have a continuous amount of iron being made, which would be great. Uh, I don't know how much. I should check on that. God, I really should check on that. Hold on. You're consuming 30 per minute, so this is 120 per minute total. What's being produced up here? It's probably 120 per minute. If it is, we could upgrade the... If it is, we could upgrade it. How the fuck do I get up here? I've not left myself many options for climbing this damn thing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Didn't need them. I just ran the only wrong way. Alright, you are a <clears throat> tier 1 miner. It's only producing 60 per minute. It's not even fueling the... It's not even fueling the steel we should overclock this as a tier 2 we should overclock that as a tier 2 uh, we can't build it but I do want to see what it would take to, to build it miner MK2 we just need to make one more hand miner fuck I thought I still had the <laughs> I thought I still had the crafting bench down there <laughs> damn dude I don't get lost because I'm keeping a mental map of where I am in relation to everything else all the time. This is copper! Ooh. Fuck. Okay, well, that never happened. That never happened. That never happened. 60 per minute is all it's making. That's all it needs to make. Where's the iron, though? That was copper the whole time? Oh, this is copper the whole time. Wait, this is all... Yeah, this is all just copper. The steel's made over here, isn't it? Fuck! I'm not even... I'm just not even in the right fucking city, dude. None of this needed to be touched. None of it. <laughs> it's all fucked. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Okay, you get in there. Connect in. Nothing ever happened. This never fucking happened. Let's get over here. Auto-saving it right after it happened. There we go. Now we have perfect plausible deniability. All right, we, I think the iron is a tier one up there, and I'm pretty sure that this coal 
is going to mix with it here on this this refinery. We have 45 per minute, so a total of three. Jesus, why? Okay, is one of them underclocked? 45 per minute, 30 per minute. It is underclocked. Okay, so this is 120. I'm pretty sure this is a tier two miner, a tier one miner, and a pure node that then is putting out 120. But we can double that, and make it do 240. I used to have a way up here. Uh, okay. Couple Thanks options. for the tip, Lyandre. I was starving. Woo -oo, what a big... Did he just say woo? -oo? <laughs> well, thanks for the tip, cat. You didn't need to do that, but that will pay for my next manicure with fern. That's what that's going toward. All right, let me do that. Uh, and then we're going to build access for ourselves. I think we did, the first time we did this, we didn't have ladders. That's why we have the observation deck, was it was the only ladder tech we had available. Yeah, speaking of, yeah, I had to take mine off. So, yeah, next weekend, let's do it. Shit. Let's do it. Next weaves will come with the manicure. We'll have to take you there, Leandri, when you come down to visit. It's going to be great. Get some manicures together. I had my first manicure with Fern. It was so nice. I've always been weird about people touching my fingernails, but no, it was great. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah, it's only an MK1. It's easy to fix. Okay, let's get a crafting um, crafting station. There yeah, we go. Bam. And then we need a hand. No, it's not this one. It's the equipment building. It's not this guy. Fuck you. Get out of here. Yeah, thank you for it. Equipment workshop. It's a little bit more expensive uh, and bigger. But that's fine. We just need the portable miner. We only need the one. It's the only thing we're going to upgrade right now. I don't think we need to take any of the other ones to tier twos. And then we just have the material and get rid of this. It'll plug in the same way, too. There we go. Fern, if they want a better view at the concert, then they'll fucking move. <laughs> you are just as valid at that concert as everyone else is. If they have a problem, they can eat your ass. They'll figure it out. Okay, where's our power line? There it is. Okay, so now we have 240 out. Which means, we honestly, rather than, uh, no, yeah. This is 120. 120 goes into just screw production over here, which is fine. What is 120 in screw production? Uh, this is where we're going to split it, though. But I think we could honestly just do a... These are all... Oh, jeez. These all need to be upgraded. Yeah, all the belts, too. We'll do that in a minute. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, so this is going to be split. Just a regular splitter, too. <clears throat> just a regular splitter. We'll do it here. I know it's spaghetti. Shut the fuck up. It's delicious. We'll do it this way. This goes off to this goes off to rods, which then goes into yeah. That'll be good. All right, so we need to change these belts over so that we're actually getting 240 through here. There you go. You just to be sure. Yeah, part of that was not done. Let's just make absolutely sure. Yeah, all sections, all sections are three. That way we have a full throughput. Nice. Oh god. We're fine. Okay, so we want to put... Oh, God, I keep forgetting. I've done this so many times, you'd think I'd remember it by now, the fucking ratios. Constructors. Just put that down for now. I want to make screws. I need... For every batch of screws I want to make, let's just make enough. Let's just... Let's not worry about making as many as we can with that 240. Let's, let's just make as much as, uh, as much as we need to. So let's take a look at this over here that needs screws. Not you. They'll need to plug into the back of this machine here. How much do you need? 200 per minute. That's five machines. That's five screw machines. That's 50 rods per minute. We can do that. That's not bad. Okay, and so we're going to do... 50 rods per minute. I think we make 30 per minute, right, with the constructor. If we take a look at this... 15, it takes, it puts 15 out. So if we need 50, that's just like two machines and one that's very underclocked. Which I think we just put three machines. Well, I will do the underclocking. Okay, so we need three of these machines, which is totally fine. Here? 
Have I gone back the other way again? How did I end up over here? We were just... We were... I don't remember walking to that side again. <laughs> Am I having a stroke? <laughs> Fuck. Is that a constructor? Okay, so we need three of these buildings. One of them's going to be underclocked to 33%. So this will need to have a splitter in front of it too. Where is my chainsaw? I didn't bring it with me. We normally don't need chainsaws, so we're not usually worried about it, but these guys are gonna be in the way for sure. So if we could put our three rod machines over here, that'll be fine too. One, and yeah, it's super spaghetti, okay? It's gonna be fine, I promise. It won't hurt you in the end. It may try, but it won't, it won't succeed. Okay, another splitter just to make sure that we get this. Oh yeah, no, it's not this. We need it to be, <laughs> not a foundry either. Just let me, there it is. Let me get, how many smelters do I need? If I'm going to be doing three of those, they're each consuming 15 per. The, the smelter is going to be producing 30 per? 30. Okay. So we need just two of these for 60 because we don't need any more of that. So two of these smelters. That's going to be too hard to get the belts to line up. Let's, um, let's, let's build this in front of each other. that together then we do this so for now we have that ready to go okay and then we're gonna do nine for smelter okay maybe somehow that works I'll, I'll allow it okay so these two are good they're gonna be making iron this iron is gonna go into three machines I need to go back and get the chainsaw let me go back and get the chainsaw we can't can I just make a chainsaw here? I don't have fuel for it. Even if I went back, I wouldn't have fuel for it. Can coal work? If coal works, then I'll just grab coal out of here. Just grab a stack of coal. Let's grab a stack of coal and let's try and make a chainsaw real quick. I don't know if it will work with coal. I don't want to fucking deal with it not working with coal. Let's just, uh, let's just trash it. Coal powered chainsaw. Imagine that. Only biofuel. Gotcha. Okay, so. We need to run back real quick for chainsaw. Make some biofuel. And then we'll come back out here and we'll clear this land so that we can build our screw machine, which will allow us to have permanent creation of heavy modular frames. Very good. That's something that we need. I gotta flip my pretzel. Oh. Very good. Life is hard when you only have two arms. Oh. oh, ice cream. Nice ice cream. Triple peanut butter. God, I would love a peanut butter ice cream. That sounds so good. Fucking peanut butter. <laughs> so good. Chat, favorite ice cream flavor? And why is it mint chocolate chip? Didn't quite make that jump. I blame the lag, honestly. Ah, oh, shit. No, oh. I feel like I'm getting fucking abducted here. Is it actually mint chip for nice? It's one of my favorites. It's so good. I could, yeah, anything homemade would be good. But if you had to pick one flavor, would it be the mint chip? Okay, so we've got 60. We could put those 60 in there. We're getting real close to having um, trains ready to go. Obviously, we're going to need all these same materials to make the train, as I've been advised. So, we'll uh, be ready for that when it happens. Why are we? Why are we also? Why are we not making screws? Do I have to hand deliver the rods? Oh, I do. Hand delivering rods over here. God damn, dude, this is all such a mess. Okay. What did I come back here for? Chainsaw. Got it. Okay, so we've got... One of these boxes has a chainsaw on it. One of these boxes. Oh, Jesus. One of these boxes. Not those. Damn, dude, which one? I got so many storage boxes over here for random shit. I bet it's one of, one of these four right here. This one. Nope. Close, though. Ah, there it is. Okay. Biofuel? Oh, 
Oh, we have some. Nice. We don't need we don't need 350. Okay. Heading back down to the steel area. I don't need to take anything because we're gonna make it all down there. This will be the first time that we have the steel area that we don't have to actually deliver anything to it. This is nice. It's it's self-sufficient. Fucking hiccups, dude. Off we go. I'm surprised by how little we've used crystal in general. I'm surprised, I mean, because the only thing you really use it for is lights. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I was sure that the crystal would get, like, turned into a silicone, which could be used for glass. I figured that was going to be the recipe for the windows. I mean, I'm glad it's not, but I figured that was going to be it. Okay, and I need to be over here. This is where we're this is where we're cooking. I really feel like I should kill these guys. <laughs> They're kind of kind of tired of them. All right, let's do this. Swap over. There we go. Get the get all this shit cleared out. We'll have all the room to build that we need to. At least until the boulders become a problem. It's more about getting rid of the trees than anything else, but it is nice that it also clears out the bushes and shit. We don't have to go around clicking. Crystals are used more in alt recipes. That's interesting. Yeah, I was about to ask what uh, what they actually get used in, because it feels like they this spawn gave me a lot of crystal, and I've just never needed it. So we got these two guys making iron perfect. Perfect, perfect. They'll come together into a merger. Okay, oh, no, not that. Here we go. They'll go out into a splitter. This just means that our belt's gonna be balanced. Because they're gonna go into three constructors. Okay, good enough. So we just need that splitter to be right here. Turned it the long way, that's nice. Just for now, this is temporary. Eventually we'll do a steel tower. Eventually. Okay, now we want to bring all those together again. And we do this just to make sure that every just to make sure that everything is even. That's it. We just want to make sure that every machine's gonna get the same equal opportunity of resources at every stage of production. So at this stage, we need three machines that are going to make screws, and then we route it all the way back down over there, which is fine. I really, this is so, like, we're totally fine with spaghetti. I don't give a shit. I give a shit. It's fine. It's okay. Let it be uh, real messy, because we don't have to worry about this in the future. It's going to be something, once we make our tower, we're going to know that all these facilities need to be brought in here, and we'll just sort of move them all in together. That'll be nice. This is merged. It needs to... You fucking mind right now. Rude. Okay, so they're merged here. We need to put a splitter splitter right in front. I don't know if this is going to work. It might be too close. The height differential is going to scare me. Yeah. Uh, okay. How do we want to do this? These might be too close, but let's try let's try this. Give a little bit more distance. There we go. No, oh, Jesus. Curve fucking scared me. All right. Let's try and do something like this and see if we'll get that to connect. Nope. Let's do that. Oh, God, it's hideous. But you know what? It works. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> but, it, but it works. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm not proud of this. How bad do I want this? <laughs> How bad do I want these belts? Oh, enough. I want them enough. This means that it has to be temporary, right? Like we we can't we can't be allowed. We can't be allowed to live if this is going to be what we make. Okay, so that's rods. These are screws. Sorry, not rods. These are screws. Those are the rods right there. Okay. And we need three machines because they're 15 each, which means... No, we need four. 
We need four because we want 50. No, we, no, we need five of these machines. Shit, there's more. Okay, we, we can at least afford to get rid of that guy. <laughs> hey, Tybox. This splits off into two more machines that are on that side. That's what we do. That's how that's how we connect all this stuff. That's what we do. Just don't think about it too much and, and it's fine. Okay, so we have a splitter here. We need to split this again. This will go up there. Perfect. This will go into a, a fuck another splitter. No. We have just enough ports to be able to do this. Just enough. Barely, but it got there. All right, perfect. So now we just need power connectors, which we're gonna just do one by one. Just do one by one. Connect it to two other things. Every pole, can, I mean, we could use a tier two pole, but like, whatever. This allows it to daisy chain and still connect to everything. For its fourth, it's gonna go back here. It's gonna connect to these two. Then it's gonna connect into the main line. Just into any line, really. We'll put it here, and then we'll do it up. Nice, got it, okay. So now we should all turn on, it should be good, and we should not have a blackout, hopefully. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so you are consuming 10 per minute. We're producing f Your rods, your rods. Next one up, your rods. We are producing 45. We need to make 50, so there actually needs to be a fourth machine here too. Yeah, because we need 200 per minute at the end divided by 40 is five, so it's five machines. Five machines ends up being 50 per minute for these, which is four machines with one very underclocked. So let's do that. You're gonna need to get replaced. We need another splitter here. That goes in there, and then this goes to the fourth machine. Okay, super spaghetti. We're making it work though. All right, you connect in. Where's that pole? Give me that pole, there we go. All right, so that's connected. Okay, so this goes into the merger over here, which needs to merge and then split in here. Um, Is there another, this merges in to this. If we did another merger right here, if we, if we did this, I, awful, I, absolutely truly awful. However, it will function and that's gonna have to be enough. At some point, you just gotta embrace it, you know? Okay, so we've got that getting merged in as well. So now we have all four of these guys working, uh, which is great. <laughs> this is just as bad as the, uh, it's just as bad as the cable section that we built. It's just as bad. Okay. It, it just keeps getting worse. It does just keep getting worse there. Okay, so now I need all of the output here to come together. As one, harmonious, as if the spaghetti never happened. But there we go. All you guys plugged in. You are gonna go on a magical journey down this way. Magical journey. This doesn't need to be here anymore. We can get rid of this. Magical journey this way. There we go. Put another, put a mer another merger down. Gonna make it work. Fuck. Okay, you connect there. And listen, it's just, we've committed. It's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay?
We got grain across the across the line. We're good. Okay. So now we have our output. Okay. Now we have a clean line that we can just take. Just take it to the destination. Make it nice. Less spaghetti than everything else that's over here. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get around the clearance of that machine with the way that I put it. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, fine. Fuck it. We're going to do max spaghetti uh, just because it's going to get us there. We need this to plug in to this machine right here. This, this right there is where it needs to go. How that's going to happen is uh, beyond me. We can get it. If I can fucking jump. There we go. Perfect. Now we can take it from that and probably bring it straight in. Oh, not quite. Because of this machine here. So now we need to route it on top of this guy. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. So now we should have screws getting poured into this. This. Oh, there they go. The ants come marching, dude. Oh, good. Now the only thing that has to be hand delivered over here is this. The reinforced frames. Which... We're not going to do locally. We're not setting that up. We could. We're not going to do it, though. So the only thing that needs to be delivered over here is something that we're mass producing back at home. That's good. <sighs> so now I think it's time to go back. We have the frames that we have. We don't need to be over in the power section. So what do we need to work on tonight? We've got this problem solved, at least temporarily. But what do we actually need to accomplish at this stage? I really wish there was a notes tab, you know? Something to be able to leave myself notes because God help me, trying to trying to remember what we were doing every every individual episode is not easy. We could go for MAM research. This is just a matter of waiting. We could do some cosmetic building. Hmm. We could set up a cannon over here. There's that. We could actually just fucking build the steel tower. Get all of this organized. <sighs> Slug hunting? You think so? Maybe tonight we go for some more adventure. I gotta be honest with you, though. I just... I don't even want to leave the factory. <laughs> like, I don't want to go explore all this shit. If you, oh, God. Look at all the... <laughs> this is from when we launched ourselves from the oil tower. It was so strong that we just went... <laughs> And then it just gave us all of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this the entire map? Is that like the other bound of it? Over there. Did we loop the world? What the fuck happened over here? <laughs> oh, we could go for explore, you know, some exploration, but... No, 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 no. no. Here's what I think we do. I think we set up steel... Uh, nope, not happening. Uh, what we can do is MAM research. Let's do that. Let's do some MAM research. This is going to get us some more progress there. Because I'd like to have the gun, for obvious reasons. I would also like to have the explosives that are going to unlock some additional resource nodes. Because we have some nodes that are got boulders on them. If we had some explosives, we'd be able to take them out. The gun would help us with fighting these little flying motherfuckers. Which would be nice to have just another way to be able to kill them a little bit more easily and not have to do melee. Melee is not a problem, it's just tedious, but if it could just go pop, 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 you know? That'd be a lot easier. Maybe we should do exploration over here. I've got the gas mask. It's just not on me. It's an option. I think it's been a minute. Let's go check on the oil tower real quick before we do the MAM research. Because that's gonna I know that that's going to take some time. So let's charge this up. Let's turn off the fire mode. How are we on power, by the way? Looking pretty good. See that variability there? It's a problem. It's a big problem. 
our fuel's still not producing the way that it should, and I, I, I think that this is worth investigating. Maybe it just hasn't been enough time, but this, that's an issue. It's a lot of machines turned off at once. All right. Hey, we've charged it long enough. We only need like 10, 15 seconds max. It really doesn't take that long. All right, off we go. Let's see if we land it again. Join me on a magical adventure. <laughs> to the oil tower we go. Oh, this is probably my favorite part of this game. I say oil tower. No, it's the oil uh, rig. Look how nice that looks. We do, we do float down very nicely. Okay. So now that we're here, let's take a look at the production down at the end. I really should just have a car on me. So if we if we ever come over here, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want to be able to drive. Let's get to the other part of our facility here. Oh God, isn't that just so nice with the light coming through the window? Oh, it's just so interesting. All right, let's take a look at what's going on down here. It says they're all on, but I have to, I have to keep my suspicions that they're not all on. Most of them are on. The vast majority of them are on. This one's, I mean, they're being fueled too. So why would the, uh, these guys are not quite there, but it looks like, it looks like it is just pressurizing the system. It's just, oh, we don't need two more generators. We're done. When the fuck did I build these? Anyway, uh, they're on. They're not staying on, but I'm I'm wondering if past this point they're 50. They're always on. No, this one's not. Let me see. At what point do we hit a 50 fuel tank? There. So this is good. The first 10 are completely fueled pretty much all the time. After that point is where we're starting to see deficits, and we're not quite filling it up yet. We should get to that point. They should never turn off. Well, let's go investigate real quick and just make sure that everything is as it should be. Oh, yeah, we were building this. Yep, yep, yep. I'm glad I remembered this. Okay, so we are putting fluid buffers in here because I want to be able to keep some of the spare fuel uh, in this room. Is it there? I feel like that's centered. It is. Okay, because then we could do a port wall in the back here. No, we can't because it won't line up. Fuck. Well, I mean, the the it needs to come through here, honestly. I'd love a door and a port. Here we go. No, we're not making 300 fuel to 25 gens. We're making... Um, it's not 25. It's, it's uh, 20 total. We're making, I think, 240 to 20. Because this consumption is 12 per minute. Yeah, we have 20 we have 20 generators because we're producing 240 cubic meters of fuel per minute and we have 20 gens, which should be exactly that. Should be exactly that. There's a bug with maxing out your pipes. Just wanted to make sure you weren't hitting that. No, I don't think we are. Um, yeah, the flow rate is up to 300, but we're only producing max 240. And it, it hits that. It goes just over that. But it doesn't, uh, and it should never hit 300. We might need to do a tier two, tier two pipes through here, but it's just more capacity that we'd have to fill. Can we get rid of this wall and do a, and we need to put you back. That's one thing we were missing. I think we have to get rid of this to do this. Yeah. Okay. Every machine will lose five cubic meters when you reload your save, and this can cause weird fluctuations. Interesting. Okay, so that tells me a couple things. I think my plan of underclocking the last two is fair. 5% off of each. Hopefully it'll be fixed, I agree, but until it is, that's really good information, Justice. Thank you. I'm going to underclock these last two machines. What this does is it creates a guaranteed uh, overproduction of fuel. 10 cubic meters per minute. Ish. No. We're taking 5% off of this. So it's going to be about 5%. 6. No. Total between two machines. 10% is going to be 1.2 cubic meter over production. Very little. Uh, but. 
what it's going to do is we're just going to put this on 95%. It produces less. Oh. It's taking 11.54. So this extra 4.6 or 0.46, sorry. Jesus. 0.46 is going to be net positive in the system. That should lead to a pressurization. Pressurization. Jesus, why is that so hard? All right, 95 uh, for both of these guys. Yeah, it's a bit wonky, but that's the idea is that we'll have these two machines here that do consume, but they consume a little bit less. Just a little bit less. That's it, because right now it's one to one. But if we make it like 0.95 to one, or 0.9899 to one, whatever that is, that tiny little bit of extra means that over time we're going to have an, an increase of pressure in the system. We're putting in more than we're taking out. That should allow things to get flush uh, so that when they're depleted here, or when they're taken out a certain amount, they get filled back up again over time. Okay, uh, I feel like we could leave this and it would solve itself and that'd be fine. And what we could do now is put on a splitter onto this pipe. We want to be able to split this pipe so that we can get it into a, yeah, get it into a port wall right here. We'll do just the one. And we're going to let it clip on the inside of here because we we're not going to see it. Uh, we're going to end up putting a port wall here too. We're not going to really see in between here, so I'm fine leaving it as that is. Uh, but I want to make sure that we get a connection between the two, so let's be very careful here with our pipeline hole. Don't put your hole in the wrong spot or it's going to end up just being a nightmare, trust me. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? Hold on, let me, I have to do it from here. Yeah. Alright, and then we've got our pipe that goes between them. Nice. And then this is going to go directly into a splitter that I'm going to have to somehow get lined up the right way. Okay, but that's connected, and that allows us to now take this pipe and plug it in there. So we have a support now. We have a support for our system. And it's going to fill up, and this is going to help us have that deficit. Now, it is pulling out pretty early on. This is going to, once it does pull out. How is there anything in it? It's not connected to anything. Excuse me? The fuck is in here? Nothing. It looked like there was something there for a second. Is there a reason I'm using the square hole with the pipe hole maker? Can I just do... Th oh. Uh, I like the, uh, I like the border there. Yeah, pretty much crash. That's right. Just because I want to. There, I think visually it's nice. There's more definition there. I didn't know you could not do that, though. <laughs> but now I'm making a direct choice. All right, so here we go. Love for that to be lined up, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. So we might have a tiny bit of wiggle. We'll put it right there. Right there seems right. Let's try that connect you guys. It's it's a little off, but it'll be fine. It'll be okay. And now we do the other side. Two of these are port walls. Nope. You. Wall conveyor? Yeah, that's it. Okay, there we go. God, why is it so difficult? Okay, so we'll do the little thing there, like that, on the other side. Perfect. We'll have to finish the floor in here to get the, the tank going. But it should work. This door is on, the, on a different spot. Oh, yeah, because we ended up having to change it. Okay. Let's do the door. Swap it there. We know we're going to get rid of these four and be able to put a tank in here. But this is nice. This gives us a bit more of a buffer. Now, this does reset our head lift after this point, as far as I know. But this should be fine. It should be able to reach up here. It should be able to reach up there. If we run into more issues, we'll know that we need to put a pump on this. We'll put the pump... Uh, here. If we, no, we have a pump back here. That should be fine. This pump should guarantee it. I wonder if I should put the pump here. Because we have a pump right here. But if this does reset its head lift, then we end up having an issue potentially. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, did these connect? No, they did not. Let's do this real quick. Get rid of you for a second. And connect the uh, connect the pipe. Although I don't know if that's going to be breaking the clearance. Please don't fall. Yeah, we have to build the. Uh, we have to do it from the other side. 
I am so hungry, chat. I had a big dinner and I'm still hungry. Okay. There we go. Nice. So we got that connected. Get all this put back in. Very good. I do desire bread. Friend, I know it, I know it's a Sunday, but like... Weeps? Alright, let's do this in here. Shit. Come on now. There we go. It's going to be so nice to get underneath here and fix up the underside to look nice. Okay, we also, I feel like we should put a light in here or something. Like, it's so dark. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, so we just need to connect these two. This was also going to be changed to the left door. That way we can put our scaffolding in between. Because that's the beautiful thing about it. So we do, we have to do it from upside to... There we go. Probably get the view from this. Nice. And now we should be able to just do stairs from right there. Did we do it on the inside slot? We did. Okay. That's where the ramp goes. So we're going to do a T-junction here. Okay. And then that goes st stairs. This goes to a corner right here. Then we have the, the only straight portion. is right there. Then we have a ramp down. Perfect. Okay, now we can put our other tank right over here. And... Yeah, because then that connects the right there. Nice! Oh, uh -huh. it's going to be good. Should be connected. Let's make sure we're getting fuel in here. We are. Okay. So that's that. So we have these little rooms here. These little utilitarian rooms. Uh, these little utility closets. We have... The, I feel like I should put lights in here. Uh, we had these buildings from the very beginning because we were like, yeah, this is sort of unused space. We're not sure what we want to do with it. But now, now it serves a function as a reservoir for the fuel, just in case. Or when we have that surplus, this will provide that buffer to flood the machines whenever we load the save again. I think it's a good idea. Man, these lights are so good. We need to put one in here, though. Yeah, we need lights over here. We'll do some floodlights. I think... Uh, could we do an overhead light in here? I don't think it would fit. Yeah, it, it'd also be huge. But we could do like a, a floodlight right there. Let's try it. I know we don't have the uh, crystal for it. Or do we? We do. We could put it right there. Right over this path. Turn it up? No, I think, I think turn it down. You know what? Fuck it. Street lights. That's what we want to put here. Right over the corner, too. Oh, hell yeah. Street lights. Whoa. These are going to look real fucking good. Can we afford a street light down here? Or is it too, it's too tall? It's not too tall. Not if it's in the center. Oh, -ho. no, 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 no. We put the street light right in, right in the, oh, come on now. Come on now. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Normally that would mean stream's over, but today it's two more hours left. Very nice. Okay, let's do... I feel like the street light's incredible here, right? Let's put it like that. That's not bad. Ugh, okay, it is too tall. Fuck. Barely, though. Maybe, maybe if we do the street light back here. Hold on. It might, might be okay if it's going right up against the edge there. Just barely. Oh, it's so close to being good. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. We do a ramp. And then we build the street light right in the corner. It would need to be... Okay, we would need to do the... Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. We, ooh, God, I almost fell in the water. We can make it work. We can make it work. Hear me out. Hear me out. We do... Because this... Uh, what we can also do down here is... We can make a uh, door... 
And this goes to the underside of the entire structure. We could build a stru uh, uh, catwalk down here. Right there. Okay. Hear me out. But then we put a street light right down here. And that should work. It's off. A tiny bit canted off to the side. Oh! It fits! Can the roof be steeper? I, it would mess with the visuals overall. You just have to trust me. I'm a genius. And it even connects from outside. Which we'll just connect it outside. <laughs> it fits. I sit. It's interesting. It gives us a nice little light in here. And I have access to underside of the entire rig now. So that's good. We Because I've wanted access to under the rig for a while now. Okay, so in this room, we're going to do the same thing with this guy going down. We'll replace you with a wall or a door. Moon door right there and ramp down. We put our street light in and we just got to get it connected. Gonna be fucking cute. There we go. Let's get back up again and see if we can get those powered. I'm pretty sure that they stick through the wall here and I think it's a cute little... This is the street light. I'm fine with that. I don't know if you are, but I am totally fine with that. I'm out of wire, fuck's sake. Um, let's just get that connected for now. You are going to go connect right up. It's perfect. So now we've... Jesus. Now we've got our street lights in here. So now it's not so dark. It is very bright, though. Hold on. Uh, lower the intensity or go gray? Oh, gray is good. Look at that. Fantastic. Ooh, that's so good. That's so good. All right. Didn't expect to go through the railing there, but we did. Just select gray. Just put gray and have it on 24-7. Because that room will always be dark. We could even put... Oh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, we could put more street lights in here. We did, idiot. Okay. You're also gray. And need to be connected. Perfect. That'll be the fourth charge for each of these two poles here. You're too fucking bright. Fucking chill out. Look at that. Yeah, gray is the answer. Fantastic. Could honestly afford to get a street light over here. Yeah, we can, I know. I know to the extent we can edit the colors, but so far I like just having this. I think even bringing the intensity down a little bit would be nice. But having a street light that's up here on this corner and points toward kind of the middle here would be nice. Let's add it. I mean, fuck it. Why not? What are they going to do? Stop me? Oh, yeah, they are. Because I'm poor. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess we got to go back and get more, um, more wire. But I think that that's the oil rig satisfied. As in, like, I don't think we're going to run into any more issues of not being able to maintain this power. It's going to take time to fill up, especially because we've got these two tanks now that are that are depleting the system until they're full. But they should also then provide an... Oh, they're full. At least that one is. This one should be too. Yeah, they're full. So never mind. Now all of the, all of it should be filling up into here. But I also want to make sure real quick. I want to make sure that we are still fueling... This machine should never... Yeah, not be 50. Which means that we don't have head lift issues, which is an important thing to check here real quick. So we're good with that. So I think we're good with the oil rig. I think we're fine. Uh, we can go and start looking at the steel rig. We can do that. Oh boy. So let's do that. We do have residual plastic coming through, so I'm just doing a quick visual that all of the uh, all the machines are on. I'm gonna make sure all of these pipes are being used. Yes, so all four of these. Okay, let's check all four of these. Yep, let's check all four of these real quick, and then we're out of here. Bottom one. Bottom one's not turning on. So this is why we check. Let me get on this ladder. This machine might not be operational. It might still be on standby or something. It's just not getting fueled. Interesting. 
Interesting. I wonder if one of my pump jacks is not working. Let me go see if one of my pump jacks isn't connected. This is operational. Let's get out and let's check it. Let's just properly check it. It's producing. It's able to output. Okay. So now, we follow the line through, recognizes that it has oil inside it. It's going into here. It's going into the tanks. The tanks have oil. This tank has oil. This has oil. So all these pipes are coming in with oil. It could be that they're backed up. This is pumping in. This is pumping in. So it comes from these two jacks down here. I see a green light on the distant one, so we know that it's on. And as far as we know, it doesn't have head lift issues. This one's also on. I have to wonder if we should have just put a safety pump over here. If we should put a safety pump over here. I also think valving these would be nice, but I'm so scared of valves at this point. I want the oil to ever only flow in and not back up against these machines. I don't know. Yeah, it could be a manifold filling issue. There are a couple different things that, it could, that could be going wrong here. I'm not sure if it's something that needs to be diagnosed, though. Or if we just let the machine go. If we just let it go, you know, will it take care of itself? I don't know. Let's go start steel tower. Oh, God. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, turn the fire mode off. Turn the charge mode on. this charge for like the 20 seconds it needs I'm like distractingly hungry Ugh. what would I even eat what could I eat quick ass don't have any unfortunately not here not that I can reach are we good there yeah it's plenty of time off we go back to iron tower we'll go over to uh, steel tower we'll start figuring out our dimensions there That would be good. I'm also getting sleepy. <laughs> it, it, it's a it's a, it's a struggle. Okay. So we need to get over to the steel tower now. Let's take a bunch of concrete. We have a bunch of concrete with us. We'll take a bunch of concrete over. And... It should be all we need. I mean, maybe we need some more plates. We will if we do a bunch of walls. But for now, let's just do the platforms. Because we'll be able to cannon right over to it. I'm not sure how tall it's going to be, but it's certainly going to be just right there. Yeah, we're going to have this stuff coming in and making our concrete. There's a lot that needs to get set up there. It's a lot that needs to get set up there. I'd like the steel tower to be right here. Uh, but I also think that having it like... Having it start up at that edge and come over this little valley could be good. I'm also not opposed to it being just sort of over here. I think this could also be a good spot for it. Yeah, we need to restock our wire. That's right. Thanks, Jessus. Completely forgot. But having the steel tower over this could be nice. I do also think that it looks too cool to build over, so I kind of want to build it over this. Or maybe start there and push out this way. Probably could build it starting there and then build our way down. Probably should build from the ground up, though, to be honest. It could start here. Where's going to be the highest point of actual baseland over here? It's pretty much all... It's pretty much all water level. 
Well, we could put a platform down pretty much anywhere down here, and I think it would be good. I also want to pick the orientation. I want to pick it to the where it sort of faces uh, the iron tower. Yeah, so that whenever we do place it, let's just put down a random block down here. Wherever we do place this, we'll be able to put a cannon on the side of the wall that faces toward it. That'll be good. Well, let's do this. This is uh, a little bit higher than the rest of it, which is nice. Okay, cool. Let's just get rid of this thing. Hopefully permanently. Gone forever. And then this is going to be our this is going to be our starting platform. We're just going to expand out from here. So we can take we can take what we have here, and I think that this is where we're going to start saying that we want to produce more than we're producing. Rather than just being like the one of everything that we have over here, we're going to see how much steel could be produced over here. If we maxed out our, you know, our, our iron ore, how much could we do over here? Because we need to be ready to expand, right? That's always going to be the plan is that we plan to expand. Hmm. Sleepy Miko. How much has been made over here, by the way? Oh, there should be 50. Cool. 53. Very nice. That's enough for us to finish trains. That would eliminate the need to do... Hello? That would eliminate the need to do screws over here, which would also just be very nice. We could do a screw, a screw manufacturing facility in the iron tower, probably up on top. It just makes a fuckload of screws. Yeah, it would be the... It's sleepy time in old schedule, so I'm, I'm trying to fight that right now. Brain telling me it's time for bed. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah, 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 Justless, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, trying to just reorganize priorities in my head. So that we're going to do whatever's going to be most valuable for us. We take the remaining supply of iron. Because we could still double it. We could still double our in initial supply of iron. I think that we just make... A fuckload of screws. I mean an entire floor that does nothing but make screws. Yeah, Aquilux, I did forget to restock the wire. But we don't really need it where we are right now. I think we add a screw floor to the tower. We fill in the rest of it. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still, not, I'm not against it. I just don't want to go out and hunt. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like the driving. I don't feel like the, I don't feel like any of it. I just want to build. I think that we can plan around the ungodly amount of screws that are needed for fucking everything. We do the screw production there at Iron Tower. We train them over, eventually, and then we have that being delivered here because we also need to bring the modular frames. I think that's a good option. Uh, we, we set that up. I don't think it'd take too long, though. What I need to do is figure out what our consumption, total consumption is. And this is why I wish we had signs and stuff. Uh, I don't actually know what our total consumption of steel or, or iron is at the main tower. I don't anymore know. <laughs> Damn, dude. We'll have enough.
I'm going to be a yawny boy for the next hour and a half. Uh, unless I get something to eat, actually, that'd probably be the answer. So, I'm going to get up and walk around for a minute. Let me take a quick break. We'll go AFK for a second. I'm going to come back probably with, like, toast or something. I don't know. And then we'll continue this. Uh, but I think that we go to the Iron Tower and invest in screw production. I think that we take... I'm going to leave this to AFK, too, because nothing will kill me. Uh, and we let this run to get the... Well, we have the heavy modular frames that we need, but more to be made so that we can actually make a train between the two. That could be good. So I will be back in not long. See you then.
All right. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> Man's got to eat. Usually I go and eat after stream and then I go to bed. So my stomach's like, it's time. It doesn't know. Okay. So now uh, we're going to... I, God, do we go ahead and do the, the screws up on top or do we get some of this set up? I think redoing all of this right now is not really necessary. Let's just... Let's just get some citral screw production going and <clears throat> take a look at trains. There we go. Let's take a look at trains. That way we can get these two towers connected because that's the biggest issue right now is that these two towers can't can't talk to each other. There's nothing that needs anything from Katarian and oil is sending its value in power. If we want to get plastic back here, sure. We'll make a train. <clears throat> but it's not as, it's not nearly as impactful or important as getting these two towers to talk to each other. So much of our core infrastructure is coming from these two towers and having to run things back and forth manually has just been a pain in the ass and it, it's severely limited the productivity of both towers <clears throat> having a more dedicated long-term production chain would be good so let's take a look at getting our last heavy modular frames put in finish the project for monorail oh they're probably still back there Oops. Now we can do that. Is that concert still going, Fern? How long did those last? Okay. Three hours, nice. That's a good long time. Is this something that like just players did or is it something that actually Squeenix got together and organized this? One hundred percent player organized, nice. That's cool. Okay, so I came back here for frames. That's right. See how many we've got. See how many we've got. Yeah, that's enough. I think I had seen that and said we had enough and did, did, didn't put them in my pocket, which would have been nice. You ever see something nice, just immediately fucking yoink it and put it in your pocket, okay? It's the right thing to do, because otherwise you'll forget that you wanted it and you'll have to go and like actually buy it or go grab it again, which would be a nightmare scenario. Man, there's so much left to do. What the fuck does that sentence even mean, Tybox? <laughs> Here we go. A couple trips back and forth, but eventually we'll have the uh, cannon. Which, I don't know if it's actually saving too much time between these two tubes. We almost could just have a tube that goes between them. Like a sky bridge kind of thing. Okie dokie. So now we've got these, we can finish the project. Then we can start looking at the logistics of trying to figure out trains. I think it's going to be very expensive, but I think it'll also be very good. Okay. Oh, mate, we haven't pushed this button in a while, have we? Nice. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. So it has its own power line in the rail. Is that what she said? Oh, that's nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the... It's going to be transportation, right, surely? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, all this stuff. Fluid freight platform, freight platform. That's not bad. I expected these platforms to be more expensive than this. Uh, okay, freight cars that stop at the freight platform will be loaded or unloaded by the freight platform. Loading and unloading options can be set inside the building. 
Okay, so my question is whether I only need one loading or unloading, or if I have a locomotive with several freight cars, do I need to plan to have their stop at the front train station and then a freight platform like four or five behind them and each one's configured to its own thing? Like freight platform per freight car. Because I think I'd like to have one car per item. Yeah, one item. It looks like it can do four. Because, I mean, it's got four belts there. It's huge. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's got... Oh, two in, two out. Okay. Interesting. I'm curious what those limitations are. Because that's going to determine how we build these. An empty train platform where you need to create some empty space. Yeah, whatever. We're going to have uh, a single monorail. I don't know if the train can go back and forth or if we have to do a loop. Um, or if we have to have two locomotives so that they go forward and backward. I think we're just going to do a loop because that's going to be easier. Okay, it does stretch like this. Good. And what is... Okay, so there's no raising it. There's no raising it. It just follows the, the terrain, which is fair. Totally fine. Um... It can do that, though. I really like the idea that it follows this hypertube link. Like, the train's going to be on the ground, though, already. The train station will always be on the very ground. Okay. One station per... We'll, we'll make a lower level. How tall is the station? How tall is the station? Oh, my God. That's huge. Uh, okay, let's get to the bottom here. We need we need to get to the actual bottom of the tower. And then we'll see if there's room for... There's room at the bottom. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I like the loop better as, a, as an idea. It, there's less configuration that needs to be... Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to fall all the way. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. At least I know where I died this time. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we'll need to go down this side. No, we survived going off the edge over here last time. If we just jump down like this. Should be fine. Should be okay. We're not too far away from where we died. Not too far at all. Okay, this is the lowest level. So we need to find a place to drop down that's over here. Or at least let it heal us up and then uh, we can take a leap over and survive. I feel like right there is survivable. Let's get it to, let's get full health and then we'll jump. Pretty sure we'll make it. Got it. <laughs> Barely, but we got there. Take all before these fuckers decide to kill me. Okay, there's not really any workable floor down here. It's it's all so canted. Okay, which means we're either building our train station down here. Okay, hold on. We're gonna build we're gonna build some scaffolding. Let me get the eight by four. There we go. Eight by four. Get that down. Not you not you either. Both of you fuck off. Damn dude. They don't like inclines greater than eight by two and they prefer eight by one. Alright, interesting. Okay, good. Okay, so now we've got this in here. Let's just figure out sort of what our levels are. And I want to be able to put down some example floors and just see how much headroom do we need from the top to be able to supply or support this uh, train station. I'm guessing to like right there. It feels like a real fucking girthy platform. So if we do this, just fill this in for now because we can get rid of this in a, in, in a minute. It would take us no time at all. So let's just get this down. Got a rogue platform. Two rogue platforms. Imagine that. All right, there we go. Let me just get this across. I don't, I don't even care if it's messy. It's all going to get cleaned up. Let's just fill this in. It really, honestly, would have been just easier if we'd gone slower. <laughs> it's any, it, no faster at all. No increased speed. 
Okay, perfect. So now we've got this. Let's figure out. Let's get this. Hold on. It has to be square. Make it square before we check. So now we're going to look at train stations. And it can be placed here with... I don't think any extra. I think I was just right. It's going to take this, which is what? a This is what? A 4? 12, 24? So it's 24 high. That's insane. That's huge. Yeah, so we're going to have our train station over here. And this is going to be where I think it is. And then as much as we can, we don't want the rail to actually have to go down very much. Um, I don't know how wide the trains are. They're the big thick boys. Not really. Not really. They're only like one tile wide. That's totally fine. Okay, so let's just, let's just for now. Because if we're going to loop it, it needs to be able to come in and, and then obviously go out on a, a similar position. It'd be easier if we had our in and out rails laid down. There we go. I can rotate that. Start that there. Track is too short. Okay, so it really does want some length. So let's start it right off the end then. Right off the center and see if we can just get this down to the ground in a way that it likes it. Okay. I'm gonna put that. You know, this actually goes quite a long ways. That's great. Yeah, because this can just end up looping to right here. Um, but if we have this come down this way, we could just we could just make this happen. Please rotate. Please rotate. Why does that want to rotate? Okay, so we'll do this as well. So we've got those two together. The question now is can I get them to loop? Not that... Okay, too sharp a turn. So what is the sharpness of a turn that it will accept? Too sharp a turn still. So at what point can we get this? Too sharp a turn. Interesting. Because this isn't properly turned. It's not going to work that way. 3x3 three three is a 90 degree. Okay. So that would need to go to right here. Okay. So that's it. This is this is our turn. So that's really interesting. So we know that the train station is going to need to be roughly uh, nine wide for one rail. Okay. Um, and we can push this forward, of course. The because it's going to go out and then go back down another lane. There's no way in hell that we get this to be that close to it. It would be within three if we're to do this. Please just rotate. This should be possible. There's enough distance that this should be able to turn now and, and actually probably end up right next to it. Ish. We'll figure it out. We'll build it the back way out. This is going to be our tester. It's going to be our starter. I'd love to be able to get rid of this coral, but I don't think that's happening. Um... Okay, so where do we want our actual... Because we don't need this to turn right now. We're not worried about this turning right now. That's mostly just to figure out what is the radius going to be once we do it. Because we can build this platform out as needed, which is totally fine. I don't want it to go any further than this, though. Oh, boy. Okay. We also don't need this anymore. This is all just for placeholders. We'll end up using actual pillars. Okay, so if this is the corner... Let's push this off by at least one more because we... Damn it. We know that this is the edge of the uh, rest of the tower. This train station is separate, though. This is a separate facility. We can come in off of one side. So this will be our insert. Well, we really, we, we, we will. Okay, we will have to build the turn here. So then, what's the center going to be? It goes three this way, and then it can go three wide the other way. So we don't want a single platform in the center. We really want it to do like this. And hopefully that works. It comes off, comes in here, down the center. We have it connect to right here. 
So then three forward and three to the left is here. It connects here at the center point. So then three this way and then down. So this is our out. Totally fine. That works. Chainsaw can... Oh, we can chainsaw the coral. Hmm. If we can leave it, let's leave it. But if it gets in the way, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Okay, so let's figure out our railway. Let's assume... Okay, you have arrived at our platform here. Um, let's figure out how far back we can go. This will be the balcony. So we want the edge of the turn to be here. So then we need to go this here. This is how far in it goes. Right there. Because this should be able to turn to right here. This should be the spot. Yep. And this turns and it should be right down to here. And then this goes all the way out. And then, this is the turn. So this is not where the station is. There we go. <laughs> That's right. For Dude, the art installations only get to live if they do not impede construction. Oh, that's good. Hold on, can I delete this? I was told you could delete this shabby bitch. I'd like to do the train station insert just over here somewhere. Let's figure out what the actual station might look like if it snaps and shit like that. Okay, hold on. We need to actually put the platforms down. Let's figure out how we want to do this. This may, what we have right now, we're not even guaranteeing that we're going to keep it. We just uh, going to sort of look at it for now. Make our train station. And then uh, make edits as we notice in other towers that something is or isn't working the way that we want it to. So let me see if we can get the train station here. It does look like it wants to snap, but it isn't going to. I don't know if we have to build the rail out of the station too. floor is too steep. That's because we don't have enough platforms, so we have to do this side as well. That's an easy fix. It's an easy fix. So this balcony might not be enough, depending on which way it's facing. Hold on. Okay, so centered is actually not really what we want. We, it is it is four wide. It's a little bit wider than four. Never mind. Five is going to be the answer. So this actually needs to get pushed one right, which means I think the coral has to die. Yeah, the coral has to die. At least this one does. Okay, so let's uh, let's get rid of this. I think it'll it'll take all of them out. But... Just the one. That's fine then. So we need to get all this railing. And now that we know it's going to fit, let's just get rid of the railing. We know that we want to put the platform here. Starting right on this edge right here. Alright, train station's going to start here. The floor is too steep still. Yeah, because we need to take it over by one. Good deal. Can't snap a station to a rail. Yeah, yeah, we figured that out. That's why we got rid of the rail. We're going to do the station instead. Okay, so it's going to be off of... Because this is the balcony. We really want it to be right here. That ends up being too over from where we are. The train station can it will have its own balcony. It doesn't have to respect there being this open line on the end, so we can put it... Fuck off, chainsaw. So we can put it like this. Right on this line. And then we just have to figure out the height. Sort of the depth that we want it to do right here. This is it. That's our station. So then behind that is... Is this going the right way? I don't know if it's going the right way. Hold on, let's... Oh, interesting. So it places some just regular track damage. You can get rid of the track and keep the station. Okay, so yeah, it is facing that way. How, how deep is it? It is two platforms deep. Okay, so each train section is going to have two things to it. So this is actually the perfect length for us. Yeah, this is actually perfect for us because we're going to have two freight platforms. One and here. Can we place it? No, we're, we're out of what? What are we out of? Oh, computers. That's right. That's fine. Yeah, and the output's right here, which is fine. It faces toward the toward the thing. Because we could just have this run along the outside of the tower. And then it just goes up through the balcony to whatever floor needs it. Oh, shit. God damn, dude. What are you doing? I don't have my weapon equipped. Come on now. That's why I couldn't select it. God, the fucking lag right there. 
Always blame Black Jack. All right, there we go. So we've got, oh man, this train looks so cool, Freddy. The station's great. Have an efficient delay. Oh, have an efficient day. Oh, hey, whatever. Uh, let me change you. We can also set the timetable. Uh, iron oil. Iron oil and what's being delivered on this train because we may have different trains from towers, but I doubt that. What's being delivered is going to be plastic and rubber. Plastic and rubber. Oh, we can't make it that long. Okay. In Factoria, you can get these really nice long names on your stations, and that's what I do. But this one's going to be iron oil. Oh, this station. Okay, the station's going to be iron oil. Iron. It's on the iron oil rail. This is the iron stage or stop. Okay, timetable. We don't have anything yet, probably because we don't have a proper anything connected. This goes right up to the edge, doesn't it? Oh, that looks nice. Okay. This guy is going to be configured for plastic. Interesting. You're going to be an unload. Because we're not taking anything to the oil. We're not taking anything to oil. There we go. So now we can just get our uh, rail there. Oh, nice friend. Which song are they playing? Okay, this is three. Should be, or is it one more? Should be here. There we go. And this goes out to right here. To this boy right there. I think. It's too far over. I thought it looked a little weird. Okay. Let's just grab the rail. Well, let me grab the rail, man. And it will. It's just being a bitch about it. Right, let's put that. Nice. Black Mambo, nice. Let's get some. So there's our train turning around to go home. And it just heads back to oil, wherever wherever we end up putting the the rest of it. We need one more of these platforms, but we need computers. So let's head upstairs and get some computers. We're also going to need our own access point, which I think opening up the uh, balcony right here is a good idea. Just get ourselves access to the balcony there. I think through both of these, maybe even up to the normal main level. Yeah, let's just give ourselves a Mondo elevator. That's to a logistics layer right there. No, that's to, yeah, that's to a logistics layer. Let's do a production layer right there. That might even be the, the main floor. Yeah, I think that's the main floor right there. Okay, so let's get a ladder from all the way up there down to here. Maybe we'll put the ladder from down here up to there. I'm not sure yet. There's my ladder. Okay, so let's start with this guy. We're probably going to put walls here, so we'll have to redo this later. So let's just do a temp ladder anyway. It's going to be ugly, but it'll get us there. Well, don't do that. Got that about as far up as I can see. You build the ladder as you go. There we go. Close enough. This next one should get us to where we need to go. <laughs> kind of sketch, but I think we'll make it. Uh, and then we get here and we're fucked because it's not on the wall. Okay, can it, let's just let's just get up to the top. Let's just okay. Let's just get up to the top from here, and then we'll delete that ladder and build our one back down. That'll be good enough. We managed to fall. Such a significant way that we might as well have just walked up from the beginning. Yeah, we knew the ladder would do that, but... Yeah, I mean, this is what we knew the ladder would do. So it's fine. We just go back in and fix it. No problem. No! This is where you make your central access hatch. I might need to do it on the balcony. That might be neat. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because we've done it, if we do it in the middle, that means that I, there are going to be certain layouts that I can't do on certain floors because it will just, it will intersect with the access hatch. Oh, okay. Let's get our walkway across here so we can make it to, to the back of the cannon area if we want to. Uh, and then our ladder comes off of here. So we uh, get rid of the ladder. Can I reach that ladder? I can't. Okay, so now let's build it all the way down. This is going to be a lot easier for us. Uh, we're going to put it here. Right up. 
some uh, selective falling, I think, will be helpful for us here. We do need to get all the way down here as quickly as possible. At this point, the two ladders are going to be next to each other, so not over each other. And this ladder just gets us all the... Oh, God, here we go. Shocked that I'm alive. Thankful, but shocked. Okay, get that there and bring it down to the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so now we have access up and down, no problem. We won't get run over by a train on our way there. It's a good deal. Okay. Didn't grab computers, but that's okay. For th At this point, I think we're ready to just send the rail. Just send it. Wherever it's going to go. So transportation, let's do the railway. Connect on the end of this and see if we can just get it to go somewhere cute. I just want cute. Honestly, we just want cute. And we'll get this to like close enough. Can we do like, can we do like really cute shit like this? I need to get above is what I need to do. Hello ladder. Let me get up here, just on this first level. See, I can't reach that far, but if we jump on top of here, we'll make it, oh, of course not. Just enough height that we can see the actual top plane. It will let it go up there. It will. There we go. Got it. Nice. Nice. I'm going to go on the rail. We're going to let it do some Mary Poppins shit. I mean, as long as... Uh, as long as this isn't a problem to have it go up and down slopes, we should be fine. But it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it? Okay. I'm shocked it's letting me do this, honestly. I'm really surprised it's letting me do that. We could have it just go down here like that. That would be a cute little spot under the art installation. We just have to make sure that we're able to, you know, finish the rail. I, I just like having it go over this stuff, you know? I think that's so cute. I should have brought my gas mask, but we can get this most of the way there. If we can get it, like, up... Jesus, what is this turn? It really does not like turning. Let me run up on top of there. Because I think there's a really nice, uh... It might be too long, too. We just not might not be able to afford it. Well, let me get up here and see what the connection point could be. It's twying so hard. Oh, I saw a fuck off! Fuck off with- Ah, oh, Jesus. Now I get to walk up there again. Ugh. So far, building the train is very nice. Uh, it, it's intuitive as to how it's established. I think it's going to be cute as fuck, too. Yeah, this is just too far away. I don't think there's any way for it to reach this far. So we probably want to do something like this. And then have it try and reach all the way up here. Just right up on here. It's too steep. Okay, so let's try somewhere lower. I mean, as high as it can go and not be considered too steep. It likes this. If we tilt it down. It likes that. It likes that too, but it needs to be able to nicely snap here. We might end up doing something like this. And then pulling it th this way. I, th I think is how it's going to have to go. I mean, I'm fine with this, too, because we're going to have to have two tracks that come through here, and they're going to obviously meet each other along the way, and they might even run in tandem for a certain amount of distance. Uh, but yeah, we just need to get this one to go up here, but it's going to cost too much. But I mean, this is also a good way to build a bridge for ourselves, because we can't just run along this all the way back. And as long as it doesn't collide with a bunch of shit, I think this is going to be a great little uh, journey for a train to go on. I can't wait to ride it. Honestly, that's something I'm looking forward to so much. I mean, come on, this looks great. Oh, this is going to be so cute. You come through there, that little opening under the art installation there. You see the whole tower? It's going to be great while we're here. We just have to get both of them to go that way. <laughs> Ish. Let's go get some computers so we can uh, build the second rail. And then we can start building the, the all of the pathway over there. Let's also get our gas mask because we know for a fact that we're going to have to go through the toxic toxic cloud. 
That's going to be where both of these tracks are, are going through, unless we get them to go over the cliff, with I, which I think is adorable if they do. I also need to figure out where the train station is going to be over there, so we need to grab a bunch of computers. Bunch of computers. We also don't need these fuel generators anymore, so we can get rid of them. Okay, both they go. We're short screws over here, but what's what's new? Uh, we do have a lot of computers. Okay. We don't need this ore. This ore is just a waste of space. Get rid of that. We don't want the resin. We don't care about that. We don't need all of this. This, this All of this stuff can be gotten rid of. If we ever decide that we want that many flower petals, we'll go find them. It won't be that bad forward to it being that bad okay so now we've got we've got a lot of stuff can loop the track back onto it what it can connect to itself it's just wow it will know what direction it needs to go how do we merge a rail I was planning to do a proper loop. Okay. Let's go look. Great thing about having a ladder now is that we can just do this. Oh. <laughs> we almost didn't make that one there. Okay, we're good there. Should be able to build the next freight platform. Right behind it. There we go. These have to be connected, obviously. But, well station does okay just the station imagine these get power or they just don't need it okay cool they just don't function without the regular line so how in how in the world has manual switches for manual driving autopilot will know oh but oh okay hmm so the question to me is how do i actually get these to merge together Oh. Oh. Okay. That looks great. We'll do it there. We'll do it there. Let me go get some uh, steel beams and then we'll, we'll get that lane connected. That's great. So we only need the one track to be able to go between. I didn't think that they'd be able to stick together but that is really good yeah and if they know then that's great we can make these beautiful junctions in the middle uh, hopefully that the autopilot will know how to navigate between and not crash into each other but if we just make if we just make a two-lane highway they should never run into each other unless we have really unfortunate timing really unfortunate timing which of course with trains will eventually happen there we go nope wrong one uh still wrong one also wrong one. There we go. That's enough. Gas mask. Hold on. I don't know where the gas mask is. Let's just check on this. I think I think it's where the chainsaw was. Let's check this box. This guy right here. Yep. With our... There we go. Canisters. Perfect. So we'll have that on us just in case we need it. It's all good. We could make a cannon that just shoots us straight down to the bottom and throws us right into some flubber. And that's also an option. This is so fucking dangerous, dude. Okay. Okay. So now we just want to get this rail connected. Let me grab that. What's this soon? Can we do like a proper hairpin turn on this? I think it has to be sections that we separate it at. I mean, that's just a good spot. That just feels good. Can still make roundabouts and intersections. Nice. But it, will it do collision detection? Will it, like, don't enter this lane unless it's... Unless it's safe. Hopefully I don't have to manually toggle this. But the station will be able to check. This is so fucked. This is so fucked. This train would derail so fast. Ah, oh, whatever. Who cares? Not my problem yet. Alright, we only have the one power line. So hopefully there's something I can just... Zerg connect it to real quick. See if we just find anything. I'll let it clip through the floor. Yeah, I, I know it won't actually collide. Uh, 
We've talked about that part before. Please be connected. No, it is. Oh! Can't afford! I need... Fuck! Oh, Jesus. We're not producing cable anywhere over here. Oh, Jesus. I gotta go back to the top again. Yeah, don't look too close at our, our train spaghetti. You're gonna be sad. I'm sinking, chat. Can you see? <laughs> when I didn't have camera on, I could just, like, completely slouch and just be, like, down here and be like, yep, I'm playing some satisfactory, but I can't do that shit now. Hold on. Oh. All right, we're back. Pretzel repretzeled. All right, we need some cable. I'm pretty sure we'll have some in one of these boxes. Let's do this. Uh, nope. One of you, 40? It's enough for now, but let's see if we can get a proper amount. More computers in there. Okay, we'll just go for 40. Why not? It's enough. It's enough. Probably should put the ladder on the right side, just because I'm going to do this a lot. I don't know. I guess it's fine. When are we going to make it? Oh! We did it. Totally safe. Totally safe. All right, let's get back up here and connect the power. Yeah, we're playing chicken with ladders. That's right. It's right behind that thing. Fuck's sake, of course. There we go. Okay, so now the train is connected to power. What's its consumption? Does it have consumption? I don't see anything, so that's cool. All right, so now we just got to get to the other side and get... Let's just put our gas mask on. Oh, let's be getting close. We just got to connect our rail and then hope that our train is smart enough to figure that shit out. This is a sketchy little, little hop <laughs> that our train has to do. I'm just glad that the... the train keeps power if it's connected, you know. If it's on the rail, that's good. We don't have to build a power line next to it. We could. So the question is, to me, if two power... If two... Two train stations connected by a rail, okay? Do they also transfer power just like a power line does? In the sense that I could get long, long distance power transportation? Not just item transportation? Is that how that works? Oh, engines have variable power cost. Interesting. Okay, that's going to be fun to deal with. Yes, it does. So I actually don't need this power line anymore. And because we have the cannon, the only thing that needs to be done over here is... We just need this pipe coming from the oil here. That's the only thing that needs to travel. Interesting. So let's get in here. Let's make it a nice straight line. Here we go. Nice straight line. Let's put our gas mask on after we murder these guys. Where's he at? Bitch! Okay, we're alive. Alright, gas mask on so the gas doesn't kill us. We have our things. Okay, so let's continue this through. I'd love to run the pipeline just adjacent to the... to the thing. They're gonna keep punching me, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get our basher out so we can punch them back. keep thinking they're going to actually dive at me, but they never do. All right, let's grab our power slug since we're here. This thing's been teasing us since the beginning of the game. Okay, so now we just got to get this guy to go through, and I'm willing to reroute this pipe if we have to to make room for the train, uh, which we're going to need to do. That's fine, though. But where is the train station? I think it's right there in front. I think we do it just like that. Oh, that's going to be cute as fuck. Oh, that's going to be cute as fuck. Yeah, let's do the train station right over here right in front. Let's even make sure it's lined up and connected with this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that real quick so that we can put this here. Then we can start laying our platforms like that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And maybe what we do here in the center is not that at all. But we actually just continue this line down forward to the train station. They put walls there and everything. I mean, that, that can stay like that, but, uh, you know, I wonder if we do that just cosmetically. And then not glass? Wouldn't make sense for there to be glass here, because there's nothing to see. You know what I mean? Do that and that, and this just stays a wall. Fuck it, fuck it. You know what? It'll be fine. 
Let me, let me fill that. Fine, fuck it. It is, it is what it is. Maybe we'll do a pillar. Maybe we'll do a pillar right here in the middle, middle just for aesthetics, just right under here. I think that could be cute. Why not? Let's do it. We're pillar heavy over here anyway. Pillar top. And their pillar bottom boyfriend. There we go. Just like that. Oh, nice. Very good. Clap, clap. Looks good to me. Okay, so now we build the train station right off of this. We know that it needs to be seven wide. One, two. Six wide. Four. Five. Six. Okay. And then it's going to be this length. I feel like we probably don't even need this ramp at all. We can have it, but it won't be the main entrance anymore. This just goes until right here. We'll make a bridge across that. Oh, that's going to look nice, chat, once we're done. Will we have enough land here? I think so. We'll end up probably filling that in anyway, but for now, let's just get what we expect to have here. <laughs> yeah, no, you're probably used to it. Having to bat me when I'm uh, going too long. So we're going to start our train station here, which I believe puts the rail right here, which means that we need... On that end, we'll figure out what the, what the distance is. Um, yeah, that'd be fine. Then we'll just link it in probably somewhere down here. I'll make sure that I put like a split right there, and then it can come to the right, but also go forward. We'll see how that goes. But for now, for now... It's got our train station here, uh, and we want it to start right there. Let's make sure it's turning the way we want it to. Uh, no, let's have it turn this way. No, let's have it turn this way. I lied. Okay, it's turned toward me. Pretty sure. Now we need to get two freight platforms. We're poor. Fucking cables. God. Okay, that's fine. At least we can get this set up. Um, and then we know where the rail is going to go. We can place the rail for now. This is going to be the next freight station. Ouch. No, Jesus fucking Christ. The fucking scallop scared me again. Every time. Every fucking time. I never expect it. It's the spookiest sound on the board, dude. <laughs> there we go. And, you know, now that we have this platform out here, if we could just get this pipe to connect to the bottom of this, we can just have it ride the ceiling. That'd be good, too. Okay, so let's grab this. It's going to go back two more spaces. Then it begins the turn, which is going to be right here. Okay. And then it turns around again, so we need three more. Or two more. And then one more for the balcony. Yeah, and by the time it gets to the end of this, it's going to be fine. Yeah, because we don't really need that to be flat land right there. Only where the platforms are, and that's all good. That's our rule so far, and it's working, I, I think, at least. Okay, so it's going to go to what? Right here? I think it's right here. Yeah, good deal. Okay, so now this just needs to go forward. And we'll connect, you know? Okay, so let's get the, let's get the rail from there down to the platform, and then we'll run it backward. We'll run it back. Let's have this be like our main reconnect point right there. See if we can just get that connected. There we go. Yeah, this is so much nicer when uh, we're just placing it long distance or long ways. Yeah, perfect. Oh, how cute. How cute. Looks great to me. We just got to get our two freight platforms in there and then we'll be good. We can take away these two sections so that we know they're going to be replaced. Hopefully it's all going to be connected. I'm not going to have to, like, redo this section again. Although maybe I will. Maybe I'll have to redo this. That's fine. Probably need, do need to play, place the freight platforms down first. Okay. So now we've got this. I almost feel like we should do a three wide. Maybe with a staircase in the middle that goes down instead of a, th instead of a thing. But, yeah, it's fine. We're going to have the plastic and the rubber. And it's going to fill up the mall first, which is this room here. Fill up the mall first, 
then fill up the train station, then it goes to the awesome sink. So it never stops functioning, but it's always putting our higher priority outputs first. All right, let me head back real quick. We'll take the cannon. Uh, we'll bring. The, we'll take the cannon back here as well. And now I feel pretty confident. Oh Jesus! Now I feel. Oh my God! Really, these are full. I feel very confidently. Let's just take I feel very confidently that we can get rid of the hypertube now. I feel like we don't need it. Okay, charge this up like 10 seconds. Make sure there's nothing still in here. I'm always paranoid that I've left something. Yeah, this is going to be so cute too because this cannon's going to be... Oh, man. It just looks nice. It's going to look so nice too once we get this done. I don't know if we're going to put a roof over this though. We could make a... like, Because I don't... I think the train station at the oil tower, the one that we have, or the, the iron tower, is going to be the only one that goes underneath. It's going to be the only one that can fit underneath. But I also like the idea of them being outside and maybe even being roofed. A little bit, uh, a little bit like this is, where it's got the arch, the archways there. Oh, that could look nice. That could look really good. That's plenty of time. I, I let these go a lot longer than they need to doesn't end up saving us as much time in the end but it's fine it probably could have been back there already if we just gone through that but i mean where's the where's the fun in taking a hypertube when you've got a hypertube cannon on your on your watch list all right we good three taps on the s key and we should make it right in perfect beautiful okay so we need some cable let's just go grab some cable let's also drop off our plastic so we can keep making computers we can also put our legs back on Shouldn't need the gas mask anymore, but let's put that in there. Did I put this in the wrong one? Yeah, I did. It needs to go up here. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's a pain in the ass. Let's just do this. Let's just scoop it up real quick. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to grab some wire. Wire and cable. I need both. But both are made over here, so that's good. Yeah, we can get rid of this whole damn thing. Oh, man. It's going to be nice to just have that for funsies now and not need to worry about actually going to grabbing any of it. Okay, so we've got... I 400's got to be enough for a while. Let's go up here and grab some wire. Some proper wire. Okay. 500 should be good. A whole spool. Don't look. Don't look at the spaghetti. <laughs> You'll be so sad if you do. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god, dude. Getting around is a struggle up there. Not perfect. Okay, so we've got this over here. We probably could take this back. It just wouldn't quite get us all the way there. Uh, I'd rather use the cannon anyway, so let's do that. Good deal. Well, now that we have the other station, hold on. Um... Uh, it's good now. Never mind. Auto save, please. Let's turn this off first. Let's get back to the oil tower. We'll take that station over there and see if we can... Because now they should be connected. Now they're connected. So we just need to take a look at them on their timetable and see just how programmable these trains are. I'm really curious to see what the train logic is. Very excited to see it, too. Very ex 15 seconds. Is that enough to get through here? And out the, out the, oh geez. Coming up on 10 now. Yeah, 15 is enough. Look at that. 15 is enough. Oh shit, there's some wreckage up there. Huh. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh. Can we slow down enough to survive? I think we can. Wow, even there. Look at that. Perfect landing. Oh, shit. I almost kind of prefer the overshooting and then just pull back until you land in the right spot. That's a, that's a good method. That works. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. It's connected, but it isn't really looped. Uh, it also isn't powered. Nothing on the timetable, but let's connect you in. Right there's perfect, right across to the cannon. So now you're also plugged in. Still nothing on the timetable. I'm guessing it needs to be properly plugged in. Let's do our two freight platforms. Players in the way. Okay. You, okay, so now that's in. I'm just for safety, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect these tracks. Oh my god, why is this so hard? There we go. 
because it didn't want to do it. Two sharp turn. Right? That should be perfect. Wow. You bitch. You bitch! How is it too sharp a turn? Come on now. Is this like one pixel too far back or something and then it ends up being a problem? Does this all need to get shifted forward by one? I can do that. This platform goes right to the end. Hmm, okay. I wonder if I could do two sections of rail and it would be fine. If I did this down to, like, right here. That should have been fine, too. Hmm. Delete track, then build backwards. Yeah, I agree. Let's just redo that turn. Let's just do it from here. Because we can rebuild that entire section over there if we have to. It's not a problem. I just would like to not have to do that. It's more laziness than anything else. Yeah, see, that didn't like it either. That's fine. It's only three sections we have to remake. It's totally good. We know it's going to work. Okay. Nice. Is this centered? Yeah, it is. And we connect right back up to that again. So here we are. We did the same thing, but now we did it the way it wanted me to. Is it time for Ferd to sleep? Timetable. Please! <laughs> oh, come on. Do I, do I program the train? Or do I program the station? Let's rename it, by the way. Okay, uh, we're going to have uh, iron oil. Iron oil, this is the oil station. It's the iron oil line, and this is the oil station. This is the same way I'd set it up in Factorio. All right, enjoy your sleep, Fern. All right, there we go. Well, let's, let's get a damn train down, dude. I'm ready. What the fuck is this? Stop. There we go. Just place it on the rail. Uh, we want it to face the other way. You program the train. Okay, good. Two freight cars. One for plastic. Oh shit! Yeah, the heavy. Ah, damn. We'll just we'll just do plastic for now. These are on the wrong side, uh, but it doesn't necessarily matter because if we bring the pa the if we bring the belt from over here. And it just cuts across like this through that, that port right there. And it just goes underneath here. It goes under, goes under, goes under. And then it comes up right through here. Does it, though? Yes, it does. But only barely. <laughs> we'll get it there. Don't worry. That'll be fine. Okay. So, we've got the train and we got the one car. Oh. That's too cute. Okay, I press W. I don't want to do it there. I don't want to drive it. I want to program it. Probably from the front. I guess we program it from the front. That'd be so dangerous, though. Or do we program it from here? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. This interacts with the locomotive. Uh, autopilot is going to be on. Let's go ahead and program it here. And you're going to go iron to oil. And that's it. Let me in! Oh. Okay, it's going on its own, dude. Nice. Let's see if we crash and burn somewhere. It's a, it's going to be a little clippy as we go through here. Don't worry, but we're going to come and clean all this up. Mostly, we're going to redo all that. We can train our way through the gas. That's great. Fuck your hyper tube. Oh, this is going to be such a cute little scenic drive as we go through. I think this is going to look great. Oh, as we come through here... Nice. Now it's braking. Gets us into our station. It definitely takes its time getting in. So, it doesn't look like it has conditions because it just goes. Ooh. <laughs> Instantly crushed. Okay, maybe it goes if it doesn't have anything to do there. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't... Okay, it also does tell me where it's going to, which is great. Okay, so by train. I love that I can see it on the... Oh, look at him go. What a good boy. <laughs> nice. Maybe we can get the uh, maybe get the train on his way back. It's going to take a minute, but... Nah. 
Okay, so now... Now we have a train back and forth. We're not delivering anything there. Everything's going to come out of here. Um, for plastic to get to this this area. And I think the best thing I could do is probably just go ahead and have a mock output. That way when we go to the other side, we can make a mock input. Um, we'll set up our smart splitter on plastic and we'll only worry about transporting plastic right now. It's the only thing we're using. But we'll do plastic. Plastic will be in the front car. Because it's also the only car we have right now. Because uh, we need more frames. Oh, here comes the train again. Hold on. I want to get a want to get a good shot of this. It's I fucking need to get this thing out of my hand. Hold on. Like this could be the screenshot right here. Hold on. That's a good one. That's a, that's a decent shot. We could get better there. Get get low. Make it make it feel even larger. Get a picture from down here as it goes. I think that could be nice. See it going down the rail. <laughs> they'll know where we're looking too, because they'll recognize that horrible, <laughs> that horrible thing. Let's just see if we can get a decent shot here. You can see just the top of his head there for a minute. You would never actually notice that in the thumbnail. But this, however, would be pretty fucking strong. You know what? That might just be it. All right. So we'll take that. Let's get some uh, let's get some rail out of here. We need to be able to take out, which is the blue. Does it matter which port we use? I can't imagine. Okay, you are unload. Let's make sure both of these are unload. Okay, so you are probably just going to elevate now and I can elevate her up. We can just immediately turn on this without needing another balcony, but I think adding a balcony here would be good. Just one extra space on that side. I no, no, I, I don't want to do that. I'd rather use stackables, by the way, as well. So let's do that. Uh, okay, you come here and immediately you're turned on to the right spot. Great, let's do a stackable right there. Smart splitters are good to use as a safety filter for unloading. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. But we're doing one item per car. We're doing one item per car. So I don't think we'll run into any sorting issues, but that's a good point if we ever do. Okay, stackable conveyor pole. You go there. Then we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to go ahead and put both lines in, even though we're only using one right now. There we go. It's so cute, dude. It is so cute. Okay, there we go. So now we've got that we've got that set up for when we do bring the when we do bring the rubber back. We bring this up by one, and then it's in line with this support. We take it forward. And now it connects here. Oh my god, please cooperate. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Very, very succinct. And we can continue stacking that as needed. As long as we're not doing in and out, we're fine. But that's not how any of our stations are going to be set up. I mean, the dedicated drop-off or the dedicated pickup. Each platform is going to have a specific thing that it does, and it doesn't do anything else. Okay, so we've got those ready to go. Let's take our plastic line, and let's get this guy set up to... Let's get this turned, just barely. Okay, hear me out. We're gonna do that just for now. Just for now. Zoop. Okay, all the way up to the top. Let's do it that way. And then, all we've gotta do there is just get it to the other side and we'll just swap it real quick. There we go. Get that up and this will take it to the top level-ish. Okay, so then we need to get you there. You need to go... Shut up. <laughs> Just don't say anything. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I'm so dead! <laughs> I thought there was going to be floor under me. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, that was just, that was just like... 
there's such an awful feeling as you're falling and you know you're not going to find the ladder again. Theandre, you need to go to bed, bitch. Go to bed. See, now I get to yell at you about going to bed on time. Hey, okay? You like it, bitch? I don't. Yeah, there was, that's true. There was floor under me. I suppose I was not wrong. Genius. I just wasn't right in the way that I thought I was. Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's get that right there. We can do the, the wall supports, but I really do just want it. Yeah, the fucking pole, that's right. We need to, We need a little bit of the other. Let's just run down and grab our stuff. Let's just grab our stuff. Maybe, maybe should put a jelly pad here on the bottom. I don't think it would kill us. Okay, so let's grab this stuff on our body. Head to the top. Awful as this is, I know it's all. I know it's bad. I know it's bad. <clears throat> but it's gonna get everything where it needs to go, and then we just we won't have to worry about this for now. We'll have a proper offloading. We'll have a proper offloading, which is for now. Let it be ugly. Just for now. This will all be on the logistic layer underneath this. We won't actually do it on this proper layer here. Um, but this this is plastic coming in, so we're going to do this. This is going to go into that. Give it to me. Oh, shit. That's not going to be able to... How are we going to wiggle that in? Like this, maybe? Oh, God. Please work. Land. Land. Oh, God. You're too thick. Fuck. Just do a merger right on top of this. That's probably what we'll do. Nope, wrong way. Because then we can do this on the back end. Yeah? What the fuck was that? Oh, it's too close. Okay, so we need to do this anyway. Then you to come in and do this. You need to come in and do that, and then you, Mr. Man, will plug in there. And then those merge down, and then it gets split, and the train station has a direct deposit, and then this is our this is our storage capacity for now. Oh fuck no. We're gonna leave that there. We'll probably have a we'll probably have a container that holds imports and probably try and set up a buffer so that the train fills it up. It's one It's one container. Every train car is one container. So, that's fair. Uh, I, I'm going to ride it back over there next time. Just so I can ride it. Because I haven't ridden it the, the way back there. So, this is going to be for plastic, but it's just unloading. We don't really sort it there at all. Okay. Oh, I think I know. Okay, so when you first said that you should use the, you could use the spark splitter to filter this, basically, to make sure the right thing is coming out of the car. Um, you do this, and it goes into a splitter. And if it's the thing you want, it goes out here to, to like the outer ring. And if it's not what you want, it just gets plugged right back in again. That would just be one item getting circulated again. How would that work? How would you do that, Crash? I just see it looping one item back back and forth forever, not actually pulling anything out. Otherwise, it feels like it would get backed up, right? If you just say, don't flow if this. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Sith. Mr. Sith Gene! I can't wait to get my stamina back, man, where six-hour streams don't feel so long. Everything in my body is like, why are we still alive? It's time to go take the trash out and get some dinner and sleep. You don't have an out for the wrong items. Let me catch my train real quick. Let me catch my train real quick and then... Okay. Hear me out. got your train station it's got like this inventory okay it's got items 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 I want the red one so I'm pulling the purple items out into my splitter which is right right here okay splitters right there it says don't out purple no purple out 
no purple out. Okay, but it does want red out this way, which is how I would set it up. There's so much fucking purple in here that it fills this internal inventory and backs this up. It just backs up. Sure, it breaks, but you don't you don't have to delete all your belts. Oh, then that's not a solution. That's not a solution then. Is it has to be maintained? Okay, we got this set up then. There, it's at station. It realizes there's nothing it needs to do, so then it leaves. Can send purple to a sink. At that point, yeah, yeah, you could do that. But at that point, you're just you're saying you you would want another line anyway. So, can you give me a real situation? Uh, a real example of a time where you have multiple items in the same train car, and you don't because you don't want to belt them. You've got them all. Why I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, you don't want to belt them, so you've got. Oh, this is going to be a cute little ramp down. Hold on, I can't. Hold on, I can't do two things at once. You guys know this. Um, let me ramp down here just because I think it's going to be adorable. Once this is out of my head, I'll be able to ask you a question. Unless you already know my question, in which case, go ahead. <laughs> Give me a real example, please, of when I would ever do that. Because I don't, I don't see any realistic purpose in my head for doing that. Okay, so here's here's where the. Yeah, I just got thrown forward. Okay. I mean, I'm down, but a little warning would have been nice. Here we go. Using a train to transport building materials and don't think... Don't think about that you shouldn't stop. Oh, so, okay. You set the train in the wrong station. So it'd be... Okay. But I can see that. It serves a purpose. Hello, welcome back. Ugh. We threw me! <laughs> I, I, I expected it. If it was going to collide with me, it was going to kill me. I didn't think it would th throw me out there. Mm. Interesting, Sith. I'm doing a more deterministic uh, setup with the trains where every train car is one or maybe two things. But every line, every line is going to be, this is awful. I don't like this anymore. This, yes, but this needs to be closed off. Yeah, there we go. Make it clean, make it clean. Okay, so now what we need to do is, uh, this is gonna be input actually, and this is gonna be rubber input, so no, uh, plastic input. Let's just fill this in, let's fill it in. Let's not worry about it. Uh, we'll have we'll have the logistic, we'll have the two lines come up here. That'd be good. So we just need to pull it from down here. Please be perfect, oh, it's almost perfect. We can have the line come across this. We'll just need to connect the floor here. Um, maybe start going up at this point. We want to not have an issue with routing our belt on sand. A little bit of sand in there is cool. You know, it's going to be fine. Does the cargo platform just commingle all of its inventory? Or do the items that come through the input get any designation to the output, to be output to the train only? Yeah, because there is an internal inventory for the train freight platform itself. This is a good point. But it's inventory. It's its own inventory there. Welcome back, friend. Does it take whatever's in here and just dump it on the train? It's just a box. Okay. So it's going to take whatever's in here and just dump it on the train, and then the train will just undump it onto the other station when it unloads. Yeah, storage container. Does it actually load the storage container up? Because that would be cute visually. If it actually places a storage container on the, on the, 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 the train. That'd be great. Yes? Yes! <laughs> the two ports are just for faster loading and unloading. Got it. I might do... We're never going to produce that much. We're never going to produce that much. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this, and then we're going to want to go up again. At this point, we want to go up. Maybe steeper. Maybe we want to go a little bit steeper here, and then this is the this is the top level, so to speak. And then from here, it's just straight up into the, into the uh, input there. Okay, I'm excited for very cute visuals. <laughs> very excited for very cute visuals. Okay, there we go. Let's get this. I think this went under. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got this set up where we can bring our... Let's get our... Oh, can I reach this? Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Let's do a... Hello? 
platter right there. Just for myself. So this is going to be plastic in, and we only need one belt. There's just no way that we're ever going to need two. Uh, we will get it to where it is like this, though. Right there. I've done it wrong again. I've done it wrong. It's here. That's where I want it. Okay, so then you're going to go right to the edge. Maybe one before the edge. Yes. Yes, you're going to go there. You are going to come out and do the same thing, but right here. And that should be straight. Oh, it is. Not particularly. Okay. One back from the edge. And then we do our elevators here. This will take us down this way. This one will come down forward. Because this one will turn. Same thing as it did before. I think we're only ever going to need one line. But I do want that line to come... But I do want that one line to come off of this particular pathway. So it could be as straight as possible on its way in. There we go. And then you... Actually, that means this should point forward as well since we're going to be pushing it further this way. Okay, cool. And then we'll do this one right here. Same as on the other side. Yeah, we're good there. And just to have those equal. Perfect. And now what we need to do is establish a port wall here. Which would be nice to have the gray port walls, man. It's going to be so good once we do because that will line up perfectly. We could honestly probably just get these to go straight there. Wouldn't be surprised if they just went yonk. Oh, no, they won't. Okay. We can get it to where... Can get it to where it's right here. If I'm not mistaken, we could get this to do that as well. And it will kind of rest on the bottom of the ramp. Yeah, then we get right there. These are great questions, Aqualux. I wish I had the answer. Maybe we will soon. we got some great mechanical questions in chat for anybody who knows a lot about Satisfactory and wants to share their knowledge with me. Bitch, do it. All right, there we go. So now these are in. This is connected. Uh, okay, cool. We're probably going to raise the floor here because there's a lot of sand. This is just sort of an access point for us. Uh, or we don't need this at all. I don't know. We'll see. It didn't hurt to have it connected, but yeah. This is overhead. This is nice. I almost want to put a support right there just for myself. Just for my own. Here we go. Uh, not stackable, just a regular boy. Oh. Never mind. Okay, so the... Dying. <coughs> this one's plastic. This is the one that needs to be plastic. It's left boy here. So this is where it smart splits out to... Okay, here's what I'm gonna... We can use just this boy. Oh, no, we can't. It's too close to the wall. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, so this is prioritizing the mall. We then put another set of smart things here, which I actually need to make a production crafting bench there. Okay, so I need to make another couple... One, I think just one. Yeah, because I've already got one. Um... AI limiter. Okay, there we go. So we have a smart splitter that we can hopefully just place right on this. I don't think that'll work. Let me get rid of both of these. And then we'll put this one more unit forward. Both of them. Okay. They're both going to have to come out left. This is going to have to come out and go up really quickly. I think it'll work. And then this is going to have to come up and go back again, which we might have to move this. So we might, what we might do is have this go to the forward and then turn around, do a loop right there. Because we also still want these to face forward. So this probably still will go there. This will be the output that goes outside, which we'll probably just have come around and then go up over. Which will be fine. So let's go ahead and get some stackable, let's get some stackable conveyor poles because we know that we're going to need these. Let's do two. And then that should hopefully be enough for this to land right there, which we can check. And then this one lands right there. Okay. 
I should be fine. We shouldn't we shouldn't clip here too much. Too much. We do clip if we do this though. We'll let this one oh shit, yeah, no, this is gonna not be pretty. Uh okay. Might need to push these a little bit further back. How do we just have it go like this and it runs under the other one? I think that's the answer. And then we do this. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And then the other port is actually going to go to the, this, just this, la just this layer. Right there. And we don't need the second stackable, which is nice. Are we sure that we would? We might still get some clipping here, but we're going to be, we're going to be using this. Let me turn that off now. We can actually see. We're going to put it could we put it right there? We could. That would fit with no clipping. That's beautiful. It looks like spaghetti, but it's not. This is just the this is just the cleanest way to connect these things. Oh, we want this to stay high too. Yeah, so we want to do another stackable that's going to be sort of on either side of this pole that comes through this this line. We want to do that because we don't want this to stay backed up for very long. So let's go ahead and get those connected again, and off they go. Ugh. We need to get them actually connected. So let's get them actually connected. Okay. So for this one, the center is going to be overflow. This is awesome sync. This should only ever be total overflow. And then left should be any in this case. This one will also be the same. Front is overflow. Left is any. Okay. Now we get them connected. They should start flowing again. Yep. So should the rubber come? Right through two, one. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Not there, my son. What? Center, yeah, no, 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 yeah, prioritize the train. Perfect, okay, cool. This one just doesn't have an output to the train, so we're good. Okay, you need to do this, kind of as tight a turn as you can make. There we go. And do it again, but go up one. Fuck, you can't do that, okay. Fuck. Actually, no, you don't have to, you don't have to be up by there. You'd only have to be up by, like, right here. Because then you could just turn, like, oh, look at that. That's going to be great. Yeah, look at that. It makes it. We have to do a little bit of a loop-de-loop. -loop. We probably could have brought this just straight back like this. <clears throat> but I don't want to cover up the ladder. I don't want to cover up the ladder. It wouldn't have covered up the ladder, though. I don't know. I think this looks much nicer. Let's go with this. So now we've got rubber and plastic being sent off to the train. Yeah, Aquilex, I think, is asking similar to what I was asking before. And that if I if I were to pull out of this, sort it and say, hey, we don't want this, put it back in, it puts it back into the very, very beginning again. And then it just ends up pulling that material out, so it just ends up one material going in a loop-to-loop -loop there. It just ends up in a loop. Infinite loop. Okay, train is not here. Uh, we are loading up some plastic. We're gonna we're gonna watch this puppy go. Uh, wait for the train to come in and uh, let's sit in it. But we'll try to maybe we'll take the cannon back. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's load up the cannon. Hold on, while we're waiting for the train to come back in. Excuse me. Watch the train get loaded up, and then we'll cannon ourselves back home. Oh, this thing has like 30 minutes of charge left. Jesus Christ. Okay, where's my train? Where's my son? He's taking his time. He might have just left while we were underneath. I can't wait to get rid of this hypertube, dude. Oh my god, it's gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so nice. Oh. Getting rid of the hypertube. Making this pipe nicer. I connected train station to cannon. You know what I did. I did. You're absolutely right. I thought I was being smart there. There is a node that I want to connect it to, and it's this one. Um, yeah. I think that's what I meant to do, because there's a nice connection right here. It goes through the... It doesn't go through the cannon. Rests right on top of it. Now it's connected. Thanks, Sith. Hello, my son. Alright, I'm ready. I want to see the adorable loading of like 150 plastic. Hopefully it stays long enough to get it put on there because now it actually has an operation to complete. All right, good. Oh! Look how cute this is. 
Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, just loads it on. Completes that animation. Sends the train. Now, yeah, look at that. Look at that. We got freight, boys. It's time. Now we can go drop off this plastic. So the the throughput of the train is depending on the length of the track is how frequently it delivers. You then need to have enough capacity within that time to, to produce the throughput that you want. So the only limiting factor here is distance equals longer train. Longer distance equals longer train. That's it. Oh, this is too cute. Now we get to watch it unload. They even gave us viewing platforms. It's so thoughtful. Okay. It just does the same thing. The animation reverses, of course, but I want to see, like, at what point does the plastic start getting taken off? Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, God. Fuck, I'm going to miss it. Oh, I'm going to miss the cutest part. Seeing a plan. Ah, fuck off. Let's put a uh, ladder up. It's happening right now, dude. It's like missing the birth of your baby. What well, hadn't happened yet? Oh, there we go. It delivered it, and it wasn't until the animation's done. The train left. Now we're getting our plastic through. I just want to follow it all the way. Let's just follow the belt. There we go. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and then from here, obviously, it does what we told it to do, which is run into the, uh... Run into this guy. Yeah, merging this in, and then... Oh, very good. Yeah, there we go. So now we have plastic delivered to Iron Tower. How long have we been waiting on that? Very good. Yeah, I would love to have a central storage tower. Next time I play, we're definitely going to do a, uh... We're going to do a central mall. One tower is just a mall. It's literally all it does is just hold one container of every item, of every step of every production chain, ever. Uh, it doesn't, and it, it doesn't have anything pulled from it. It doesn't have anything pulling from it, ever. We have dedicated production. It does, does just that. It doesn't ever turn on until we have taken something out of the mall, and that's it. Oh man, but this is it. We have we have we have plastic delivery. Fuck yeah. So now we also know I think fairly well how trains work. They're very very simple. Um, some might say too simple, but they're they were just introduced. That's perfect. You can chain stop so you can have one cargo platform. Oh, can you chain stop so you have just one cargo platform, and then have the train pull forward one car at a time for offload? I think you wouldn't want to do that because this is this is the most expensive part of the train station. These freighter sections. But if you were forced to use very short cars, I bet you could do that. I bet you could. That'd be some good science. Frackle. Who needs to play this game? All right. So if I can afford another freight car, let's do that. Let's get our, pla our, our rubber set up and just have a storage unit down here for it. Can I afford another freight car? I can't. Oh, yeah. It's the reinforced things. Let's go off and... Uh, now that we know this works... It wouldn't be hard for us to put the other train station right here going this way to the to the steel tower. It would just go right, right across the water there. I think that'd look great. We have both of our train stations down here. This is so fucking cute, dude. I'm angry. Like, it's so nice. You just... Oh, it's good. It's, it's really good. Because we definitely could do something where the steel tower comes over here and pulls off this line, but... Yeah, we would have to we'd have to somehow isolate the plastic input and all the others. I, I see the train as being a bulk mono mono item transport. It, it's just a it's just a bigger thicker belt. That's how I'm seeing it. It's cooler too. I really like it. But let's go over here and figure out what we want to do. Let's get over here and start looking at platform sizes and start getting some platforms down. I know on on 
Tuesday is probably going to be dedicated to Steel Tower. That's probably what that's going to be. Dedicated. Because it's been so long that we've had this over here, and I, I feel like we're going to get into the point of the game where we're going to need to start actually mass producing as much as we can. And especially if we can get... I don't want to have a train ride over here that delivers screws, but we could, theoretically. Yeah, look at that, 143 of these bad boys. We can build our trains, no problem. We still even have screws over here. What we're at, we're out of frames. Out of all things, it's the frames we ran out of. That's insane. We're making them back at home. We just have to come over here and deliver them. Interesting. All right, well, we've got those picked up, so now we can go put that last train car on there. Uh, from there, yeah, from there, I think we're just planning out the steel tower. I can't believe we're up to trains. I didn't expect to be dealing with trains at all tonight, let alone have a running line. A useful running line. That's great. I mean, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> a hundred hours spent making a giant sorter building so that he could run messy trains. I honestly think that we could do that. Uh, I think that'd be a fun logistic challenge is to just set up a shitload of sorters. You know, pull this thing out. Everything else continues forward. Pull this thing out. Everything else continues forward. Um, I think that'd be great. I think that sounds like a load of fun. Because the central, like, we, we would we'd have to wait until trains to be able to really do it. That or we do it with, like, just spaghetti, mile-long tracks of, of uh, belts. Shall we clean this up? Theoretically, if I get rid of this... Power should be connected. Both ways still. And it is. Even though there is no power line running between the facilities. Okay. Don't... No! No suck me. Put me back. We're going to try and climb on top. We're going to get rid of this line as we run along it. Uh, so we don't need this at all. This is just gone. Okay, you're gone. Station. This is gone. I need to run back a little bit so I can just delete. Just go... Whoop. Let's do this as we run along. That's good. We'll, we'll do that much. Because it's going to start to get a little bit sketchy. Okay. So let's be on here on solid ground. Get rid of all that all that piping. Get rid of you. Whew, here we go. This cursed ass pipe. I, I thought we were going to come back later and fix it. Just make it nicer. We're fixing it by euthanasia. Fixing it in the sense that makes your dog really sad what we're doing here. We'll just uh, hop on down this oddly crunchy mushroom flower thing. There we go. Yeah, I could see the sushi belt as a good description for a later game setup. Yeah, let's just run on a train track. Where's the train? Oh, God. <laughs> they could have been behind me. There'd be no way to know. But shit, there it is. Nice. I only grabbed one thing on that. Excuse me, sir. That's down. Oh, look how much cleaner this whole thing's gonna be. Man, I know trains don't hurt you. I know trains don't hurt you. I know. Let me have my fun, please. <laughs> That's all I ask. All right. So let's get, oh, this whole damn hypertube can go. Did I keep my gas mask on? I did, what a genius. There we go. Do the uh, vehicles get punted by the train? That would be great if they did. Yeah, I love just not needing this power pole at all anymore. Just the whole thing can just go. Uh, we don't want to get rid of the railway. So let's do this real quick. Oh, power supply. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. I was going to say, I'd, I'd have been very surprised and also slightly angry if we were actually running into power issues. That's just because I have one of my chargers left on. And it's being overzealous. One of my cannons is on right now. Oh, no, no, this one's needed. Hold on. This one's needed for uh, <laughs> power to the jacks. Power to the jacks. There we go. No, no, no. We need these. Let's put this back. This is needed to be able to get power over to the pump jacks for a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and put our gas mask on. And here we go. 
oh my god, the not being able to jump is awful. Okay, we can put this line maybe right here. Then we just get rid of the rest of the hyper tube, which I think there's going to be a section up there that gets stuck on. Oh, there it is. Perfect. All this hyper tube can go. All of it can go. Oh, it's going to be so nice. We all we have to do now, and we probably could do it while we're standing here. Uh, we have a little bit of we have a little bit of gas mask left. Probably get rid of that too. But let's go ahead and get our pipe replaced in a way that it doesn't uh, clip with the train. Let's just be quick and be a little bit messy still, but at least it's not going to intersect with the train. I don't care if it's close. I just don't want it to intersect. Close is fine. This is finer, though. This is cuter. We just don't have power going to the pump jacks. Okay, so now we just need to connect this up to here. Just let it go straight. Perfect. Get our power connected. Where's our, where's our line? Barely see it. We're getting in the gas. We might as well run in. Where's that power line so far away, dude? All right, right, right up on the pipe. Oh, come on now. Stop fucking fighting me, dude. Come on now. There we go. And this is like the last little vestige of the hypertube. Just about. Connect that there and off we go. Get rid of this guy. Oh, man. How nice is this? Look at the plastic. Nice. Plastic still getting loaded. I'm curious how much has been transported because all this stuff's going to back up eventually. It's just going to take some time. God damn it, dude. <laughs> why, why would you do that? I didn't even look at it, I swear. All right, there we go. Yeah, I definitely want to see if I can get that oil to follow the track and then maybe just get plugged into a wall right down here and then just follow the ceiling and then go straight across and then the ceiling wrap under just like this one does. Yeah, ceiling support right there and there's just... Oof. This one comes in from the side, but this one could be a lot cleaner. That could be really good. Can't slide uphill. Got to remember that. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to video game physics. All right, good deal. God, this is just all so nice. We've got trains set up. Now I know that these two are talking to get to each other. I think I might be willing to set up a temporary train. Uh, we connect to the oil and where the steel tower will be. Even if we don't keep it there in the future, just to have something connected that the, uh, the reinforced uh, things are being sent back to the Iron Tower, and the Iron Tower is sending the regular modular frames and screws over to the steel area for now. Yeah, I mean, Aqualex, I'm definitely there with you. Uh, in any game that's going to have logistics with them, I want logistic logic. I want to be able to give some very rudimentary decision-making to to the inventories. It's one of my favorite parts of Factorio, is where you can tell a hand inserter, which in that game you have a belt that runs, and then you have a mechanical hand that grabs something off of the belt and puts it into a machine or grabs off the machine and puts it onto the belt. Well, you can any, any machine can be connected to a logic network. And what that does is you can then tell the hand that if the machine behind me that is also in its own little tiny logic network, if the machine is full, don't grab. Now, obviously, it wouldn't do this anyway because it wouldn't have a destination. It would grab it, but then we go, oh, shit, I can't put this anywhere, so it just holds it. But you can also do things like this. Um, one of my favorite things to do is that you can balance the load on a train. If you say, I want half of this train to be copper, half this train to be iron, you can check, you can check the fullness of that train car when it is there and say, I want this hand that takes the copper from the belt and puts it in a train to function until there's 2,000 and then turn off. And it does that. It's so good. It's so good. Because it lets you do some really neat micromanagement. I mean, just like the coolest little micromanaging things. We could almost get this across there. If we wanted to make a balcony, it could go across, and it would be right lined up with that door. gonna stop me. I mean, this looks great. Be, be able to walk around this thing without getting hit. So we have a balcony on that side. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's do it. Fuck it. It's not even a fuck it thing. This is what we should have. It's nice to have this little bridge across here so we can go straight from the cannon section right out to the train station. Look how cute. 
Look how well this lined up. I'm angry. How well we made this. How this whole thing just needs to be redone. <laughs> soon, though. Soon. Actually, I know exactly how soon. It's going to be two days from now. Man, what a lot of progress we made tonight. It's incredible. Um, just getting the train set up is going to solve so many of our logistical issues, and I can't tell you how excited I am for that. I am so glad to be streaming longer longer hours now. I had a great time with you guys, as always. Uh, thanks for being here. I'll be back on Tuesday. We'll be starting at the same time, which was six hours ago. We'll be picking up with episode two of Rooms of Our Lives, and then we'll continue right where we left off here at 9 o'clock on Tuesday. It's going to be great. I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you around. Be on the Discord. If you want to support, Patreon's always available, or whatever you want to do. Just being here is the most valuable thing that you could do to help out the stream. Have a good night tonight. I'll see you on Tuesday. Good night.